Major Bell wants you oh so bad. You're not the only call he's ever had. And if he says he's gonna call on you, don't you know it's just the snowplow show? So take the call from Roy Gerbell. Pick up that phone. He's on the air with the Snowplow Show. So pick up Roy Gerbell on the Snowplow Show. Cactus. Hey everybody, you're listening to the Snowplow Show for March 25th, 2017. Actually, today's really the 27th, but through the magic of pre-recorded radio, this episode was done on March 25th, not today. This is a live show that Sunshine and I did on Saturday, and you can blame the weird date thing on Pagan. Pagan is the sponsor of today's show. Thank you, Pagan, for being a supporter on the Patreons at patreon.com slash phone losers. If you'd like to be a supporter, you should go there and check it out. You can also support through phonelosers.org slash cactus. Just $5 a month gets you at least one extra show every week. I'm trying to be misleading like those rent-to-own stores. You know, they always tell you how much you're going to save per week, but then the terms are in months or something like that. Is how is that how they do it? I got to figure out how to scam better. Wait, no, I'm doing it backwards. Instead of saying it's $5 a month, I need to tell you guys that it's only $1.25 per week. And for just $1.25, you get four shows per month. I gotta be confusing about it. Wow, this is a great idea I just came up with. I'm gonna write all this down after I finish completing this show. Anyway, Pagan's the sponsor, and that seems fitting because this is a big show of blasphemy. And it's probably gonna be over three hours long today. So hopefully you enjoy blasphemy, because we've got plenty of it today. Before we get started on that, though, there's just one quick thing I want to play. You know, a couple shows ago, it's the one where I was doing all of the requests on the show. That I think that was last week. And remember, there was an old man. I called him about his prescriptions and told him to get with the times and start using the internet to order instead of the phone. And it was just a bunch of confusion. And the guy got kind of upset at one point, and he called me an asshole gypsy or something like that. And in my opinion, that was the most amusing part of that show. Well, the guy whose grandpa that was, he sent me the number to prank him, and I actually can't find that email, but I found this other one. I think his his name is Aaron, because he posted on the PLA group, and Aaron sent me an interview with his grandpa about the entire thing. It, it lasts about uh, one minute, and the audio isn't the greatest, but I tried to clean it up a little bit, but here it is. Here's an interview with the guy that called me an asshole gypsy. Yeah, he, like, he didn't know the provider? Yeah, I didn't know the provider. And uh, So I guess he started this like mid-conversation because he probably didn't realize his grandpa was going to start ranting about it. We went round and round and round and finally he said, you motherfucker. He called you a motherfucker? Yeah. I wouldn't say that. Come on. Those shorts are way, way too tight. Oh uh, yeah, I think he might be talking about something on television right there because just out of nowhere he says those shorts are way too tight. Or, or maybe that's just the way he insults people who prank him on the phone. It's so, like, do, how long did that go on for? About five or six minutes. He called you a motherfucker? He, you know, he was saying that, uh, you're sick and tired of you calling up uh, and chewing their ass, and he just they, they just want you to get it delivered through the mails. And stuff. Through the so mail? So yeah, that's what I said. With you. And I said, huh. well, who's that? And they said, the robots. <laughs> the robots? Who the fuck is a robot? <laughs> That's weird. The robots. And he didn't know who they were. He couldn't tell me who they were that was bitching because I was bitching. It's all bullshit, see? Uh, That's pretty great. So thank you, Aaron for sending that to me. It's always nice to get a recap of one of the calls that I've made from the recipient's point of view. So yeah, that was fun. Thank you for sending that file in. And I guess I should go ahead and get started on the live show. So here it is. Here is the live show that happened on Saturday. Holy shit, the the music stopped. That means I'm supposed to talk. Hey everyone, I'm doing a short show today. And uh, we're going to say some more of our final goodbyes to the family christian stores just thought i'd you know call up a few of those around the country and give them their final orders before they go out of business as you all know family christian stores they're they're going bankrupt Uh, jesus totally failed failed in saving them from chapter 11 
With me today is Sunshine. Sunshine. I told her if she doesn't make at least one call before the show's over, I'm kicking her out of my house and get the fuck out. Go wait in the car till I'm done. Just, just hang up. <laughs> so yeah, let's call some places uh, in a second. So uh, we're gonna start with Alabama. Do you have any idea what we should say? In Alabama. Yep, Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> Huntsville, Alabama. So once again, I have no ideas, really. I'm just relying on the chat room to throw out a bunch of wacky ideas. I have the ones from last time I can kind of start with. Ask them, why do the stars fall in Alabama? Is that a song? <laughs> that sounds familiar. All right, no answer in Alabama. It says they're open until 9. Maybe they close down early. Maybe they're having a prayer session. Maybe. Probably having a CD uh, album burning party thing in the parking lot. <laughs> The CD burning. Maybe, um, maybe another prank caller got to him already and convinced him to shut down the store for the day. Mm. Said, "You're out. You're you're supposed to close a week ago. What are you doing?" Brown Magic wants to just wants us to ask if they sell uh, replica crucifixion nails. Yes, I actually worked in a Bible bookstore Thank and you they for sold family those. Christian stores at Sand Hill Village. Our store hours are Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Oh, what the hell? It's not 9 p.m. It's only mm. 6 p.m. over there. That, that was uh, South Carolina. Let's try Colorado. That'll work for sure. Maybe they've uh, blocked our caller ID out of every Christian bookstore. That's happened before. Uh, I forget which company. They blocked Skype's standard caller ID because we were really hitting this one place. I forget what it was. Mm. I think it was Legend's fault. It's always Legend's fault. That was horrible, Jack Richardson. You should be ashamed. Do you think get, be- get out of the room. Sorry, what? Yeah, Not you. No, it's not Jack. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on. Hey, uh, I'm calling. Uh, is this the... <laughs> this is a horrible start. Hey. Who's this? Hi. 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 Hi, this is the Family Christian Store. Can I help you? Hey there. Uh, this is Greg from the corporate office with Family Christian Bookstores. Oh, okay. And, oh, you need your volume up, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're just getting started here on the show. You know, we're just getting getting ready for the pranks and all that. Um, I'm just calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer there that I could just speak with and do a quick survey with him? Um, yeah, hold on. Thank you. Do you mind doing a quick customer survey? A survey. Real quick. Survey. <laughs> Hello? Hi, this is Dave from the corporate office with Family Christian Stores. Hi, Dave. How are you? Pretty good. Is this really a customer? Because we've had problems with that particular employee. She always likes to put employees on the so phone. I'm a customer. I'm looking at cards right now. Okay, look. It's kind of hard it's to believe you. Some some books. Yeah, I yeah. which one I want. Well, the problem is that you just kind of sound like you're full of shit. Are you sure you're not an employee? Because you said I'm full of shit. Well, no, no. We've just had. Hello. I'm sorry. I couldn't talk to her because she was full of shit. Could you put another customer, another customer on, please? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was just a test call. That was a warm up. That's why it didn't work out. Did you hear her gasp? <laughs> 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 it was awesome. I felt the Holy Spirit leave the building. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why I never. Thanks, calling Family Christian Store. This is Rhonda speaking. How may I serve you? Hey, Rhonda. This is Paul from the corporate office with Family Christian Stores. Sure. Uh huh. Yep. For How realsies. Are you, Paul? I'm pretty good. I just called to warn you that we've been having some problems with prank callers calling in and pretending to be with the corporate office. So if they do that, you know, make sure you don't give them any information or put any one on the phone with them, like customer. You know, they're just doing wacky stuff. It's weird. Oh, gotcha. You know yep. what? Michael is here. Hold on just a minute. Oh, He's no, our manager. I, oh, no, no. I, I don't actually need Michael. I just, they wanted me to tell the employees. But while I've got you on the phone, I need to do the, do the uh, customer survey for the week. Do you have a customer there I could speak with? Uh, hold on just a minute. Okay. Do I get a customer or Michael? Probably Michael. Uh, freak show telco. He's like, do they have, do they have 50,000 he- Hebrew slaves in stock? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Still with me? Yes. Hold on just a minute, okay? Yep. Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. What was your name again? Uh, Steve Dave from the corporate Steve, office with okay. family. Yep. All right, hang on. <laughs> These suggestions. I wish we could have done this on Sunday, but you said they're closed on Sunday, right? Now Sun- accepting donations to build another art. Yeah, yeah, I just I just copied <laughs> that one into the notes. Thanks for that, Garrett Sharp Sangali. That's a good one. 
She's really uh, out on a quest to get a customer, apparently. Hello, ma'am? Ma'am? I love it when you do the god voice. It always cracks me <laughs> every time. It just cracks me. Thank you for holding. This is Michael speaking. Oh, hey, Michael. This is Steve Dave from the corporate office with Family Christian Bookstores. Hey, Steve. What can I do for you today? Um, I'm just doing the weekly customer survey. Do you have a, a customer there I could speak with? A weekly customer survey? Yeah, yeah. We do this all the time, every location, once a week, once a shift. Mm, I've never heard of it before. Oh, well, you know, maybe you should pay more attention to your job. But anyway, could you put a customer on? It's just going to be a quick survey. Aw. <laughs> You should tell them because they're going out of business. This is a new thing you're doing. Just to- yeah, yeah. What was I thinking? <laughs> just be like Jesus told me you're an ass face. <laughs> <laughs> well, here let's call back and see if Michael picks up. Thank you for calling Family Christian. Hey, um, I just asked Jesus, and he told me you're an ass face, Michael. So there, take that. Hello? Shit, he's turning on the tracer. I gotta, okay, let's go. <laughs> tracer. <laughs> you know, some of these stores, they have a tracer machine under the counter. They, they're always turning it on on me. Yeah. <laughs> Eat a bag of G- baby Jesus dicks, Mike. Why, why didn't I say that? Thank you for calling Family Christian on East Washington Street. This is Robin. How may I serve you? Hey, Robin. I just needed to find out if uh, you have something in stock. Okay. Uh, I need to find out if you have 50,000 Hebrew slaves. 50,000 Hebrew slaves? Yes. Just checking the computer, I think. Did you say your name's Robin? It is. Like Robin all the customers. (laughs) (laughs) That's what we've been accused of so far. Let's see, right? Usually people say Batman. Usually. Ah, I missed out on that opportunity. Yeah. Um, and on the book, is it 50,000 like the number, or is it... Oh, no, I meant literally 50,000 Hebrew slaves. Hmm, okay. Hold on just a second for me, okay? Okay, yeah, just check. Thanks. Check with, with a man. By the by the way, everyone, we're broadcasting on Shoutcast today, so if Mixler sucks for you, which someone complained last week that it did, uh, you can go on the Shoutcast, phonelosers.org, click on the, the player thing. Woohoo, Shoutcast is back. Isn't that exciting? Hopefully that lady that has me on hold didn't hear me say phonelosers.org. I don't want any trouble. Yes? I am not finding it. Phonelosers.org. Oh, you're not? No, I'm sorry. Shit. Fucking shit. I'm just, I'm talking, you you understand I'm talking about actual, you know, people, like Hebrew slaves. Not that they're real people, but you know what I mean. Like Mm -hmm. 50,000 Hebrew slaves, like actual. Like that's the name of a book. No, no, that's that's what I want. I want to have 50,000 Hebrew slaves. I'm going to build an ark. It's going to be the biggest arc anyone's ever seen. Huh. Robin? Yeah? Do you have 50,000 Hebrew slaves in stock? I, I, do, I do not. Ah, shit. What's that lady saying in the background? Is she trying to start something? Robin? 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 <laughs> okay. I feel like we're not taking this too seriously. Maybe maybe we should come up with a plan. <laughs> oh shit, I just scrolled through a bunch of stores. Or I'm not taking it too seriously anyway. Oh. I just lost my place. Down the bomb. Have Sunshine call as God's personal secretary and then have her <laughs> handed over to you as Jesus. Okay, quick. I t- like that t- one. Tell me, this is God's personal secretary. This is God's personal <laughs> secretary. <laughs> That's how we all. T- that's how we all talk up here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good times. 
Okay, yeah, I lost my place, so I'm just starting in a random spot now. We're gonna call one in Chicago. It's supposed to be open for another six hours. Four hours, I mean. Um, Mr. Puck wants us to say God damn it a lot, but no, that's blasphemous. We, we're not gonna do that, I'm sorry. I don't want to be disrespectful. And do you want me to do a customer survey and hand it over to you? Yeah, if you want. Okay, I'm gonna. That's that's the goal on this one. <sighs> okay. So um, we need uh, survey questions. Chat room. <laughs> Ask them if they have the the idol of the Buddy Christ. <laughs> do you remember that? Buddy Christ. No. Dogma. No. Oh. The- Hello, family Christian. This Hi, is Bill. Can I help you? Hey, Phil. This is Steve Dave from the corporate office with Family Christian. Yes. And I'm calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer in there we could speak with? Just do a quick survey with them? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm trying to pick one out. Ooh, pick one that looks really weak and vulnerable. Uh, hold on a second. Here's one right here. Oh, is he weak and vulnerable? <laughs> this is the corporate office. This is a family Christian. They would like to talk to you. Seriously. Oh, thank you. You don't want to talk? Well, I tried to pick someone weak and vulnerable, and he said no, thank you. How about you? Would you like to speak? Can to you can person? you tell him to leave? What? Uh, never mind. Never mind. Just go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Let's get somebody bold here. Oh, hey, hey! Don't ask them. Go up. Oh, no? Go up to him and be like, "Hey, this is the corporate office, and you're going to talk to him." And just put the phone in their face. Okay. Someone would like to talk to you. Hello. Hi, this is Maggie from the corporate office. How are you today? Hello, I'm doing a customer survey. Ma'am? Hello? Ma'am, can you hear us? Yes, I'm here. Oh, bless your heart. Honey, what's your name? My name is Crystal with a K. Crystal with a K. Oh my gosh, I'm Maggie with an M. How are you today, sweetheart? I'm great, thank you. Awesome. What are you picking up today? What are you purchasing from our bookstore? Um, right now, we're in um, looking at a few tracks and just some few mm. little whatnot. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's awesome. So I'm doing a customer survey because, you know, we're going out of business. Is that why you came in today to buy everything kind of cheap? Yeah. Oh, I love the cheap yeah. gospel. It's the best. Cheap it's skate. the best. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Praise God. Hey, so I have a customer survey. I have three questions. You need to tell me number one, number two, or number three, and that will determine which question I ask you. Which number? Wait, oh, you said it'll determine... Yeah, just pick a number, one, two, or three. Which one? If you can count that high. (laughs) Let's go to three. Okay, number three. If you had to murder a puppy or offend Jesus by not going to church, which would you do? Wait, say that one more time. Crystal with a K. Murder, if you had to murder a puppy or offend Jesus by not going to church, which would you do? Or offend Jesus? With, oh my God, neither. <laughs> oh, you got to pick one, Crystal with a K. Oh my Lord. Um, well, I definitely don't want to offend Jesus. <laughs> no, ma'am. Okay, what about question number two? Just kill the puppy, okay. lady. Yeah, okay. <laughs> question number two A kitten, a puppy, or baby Jesus? Aww. If you had to kick one, which one would you kick? If I had to pick one. If you had to kick one kitten? with your foot, kick one just right across the room. A kitten, a puppy, or baby Jesus? Kick. K is in crystal. Oh, okay. Yes. Kick a kitten, a pup, or a... Uh, or baby, or a baby Jesus. Jesus, yes. Um, I would go with probably, I don't know, a kitten. Yeah, I'd kick a kitten too. Praise God. <laughs> Praise yeah. I'm high fiving you in the Holy Spirit right now, honey. Put your hand up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, fuck those annoying little turd winders. Yeah, I don't even know why God made them. <laughs> Amen. Uh, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, this is Steve Dave from. I, I'm. I work in the technical department here at the corporate office. Mm-hmm. And we actually um, we have sensors on the lines here that can detect uh, demons in your voice, and it Amen. seems seems like you need to be exercised. Amen, amen. Praise God. That's a good one. Oh no, no. Look, I'm 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 fucking serious, lady. You, you've got a demon inside you, and we're going to exercise Glory it right now. Glory to God. Oh wow. That's You're the- right. You want to pray right now? Let's pray. 
Actually, I think maybe we need to have the employee like. Uh, oh you know, yes, lay hands. That's right. Yep, yep. Do they do they still sell knives? Oh my god, no! But I wonder if they sell like those little nails, like that you know, to represent the nails. Yeah. Jesus <laughs> hands. Holy yeah. water, holy water. Yep, yep. Yes. Throw, 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 throw some in this bitch's eyes. <laughs> Amen. Oh Steve my Dave. Lord Jesus. This is so funny. Yep, yep. Okay, well, look, we can just let you go. If you want to just keep the demon in there or whatever. But, That's right. Hey, we, we try to do mm-hmm. just a, a fun thing at the end of every survey. Can you just yell out and, and just let everyone know that, that you love God by saying, praise the fucking Lord? Mm. No. Yeah, do it. <laughs> do it or you can get the fuck out of the store, lady. I definitely can't do that. Come on, just, just praise the fucking it. Lord. Come, right. feel, feel the Holy Spirit in you and just mm. yell it out. Mm-hmm. That is no Holy Spirit. Gosh. That's a spirit. Okay. Oh no, uh, uh-uh. uh. That's no spirit. That is the Holy Ghost, honey, right there. I know something else you can do to prove that you love Jesus. That's right. Mm-hmm. Uh, it looks like. Um, oh, hold on. Let me look in the chat room. Uh, Dom the bomb says tell mm. says that if she can swallow a page out of the Bible. Do you have your Bible on you? Mm. No, I don't. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. God's going to kill you with that throat cancer because you're not carrying oh your Bible God, around. No. Oh, my Lord Jesus. Lord. Are you guys serious? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? The company's closing, going out of business, mm-hmm. so what That's do we right. care? That's right. Right. Come on, come on. Help right. us Help us with our who gives a fuck attitude. Just ye- yell out really loud. Praise the fucking Lord. Do it. No, what? I don't curse. Too. I think that that's offensive. Mm-hmm. Now, hold on one second. Let me get my coworker. <laughs> Hello, this is God. I'm giving you permission to curse in Amen. one of my stores. Oh, wow. Glory to God. That's right. You got it from God's mouth, honey, right there. Give it up. You said what? Exactly. Do I get anything for all this time? Uh, you get laughter and you Jesus in your heart. and The spirit of laughter. happy. That's right. A- apparently a demon that you don't give a shit about, so you're just going to be stuck with that. You can get that from us. Um, the associate here said I can get the laughter from him. The what? From them. The, the laughter. Ask him this question. The laughter? Do you know how to That's a euphemism. A What's he saying somebody? back there? What's that man saying? Do you, know said, do you know how to build up anticipation in someone? That sounds like a threat, ma'am. I, I would call 911. That sounds kind of sexually <laughs> private. That sounds like a threat. Inappropriate. <laughs> we have had problems. Um, sexual. Yeah. Sexual, sexual questions like that are offensive <laughs> yeah. to me. I'm yeah. offended. Yeah. Does he have the spirit of Jezebel in him? He has has the spirit of Jezebel. You need to slap that. Does you know? Do you know how to stir up anticipation in someone? You know, if he said that to me, I'd slap that smile right off his face. Disgusting! I can't even believe it. I'll bet you he watches pornography. Kick him in the nuts, lady, Crystal. You said what? Kick him in the and nuts. this is corporate. You guys are corporate for real. Yes, yeah. Is this some kind of gag show? No, no, we're going out of business. That's right. We don't do gag shows. Mm-mm. Really? Yeah, that's a private thing. Wink, Amen. wink. Yeah. Praise God. That's right. He's, they're saying that um, you're getting as silly as them. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, now. look, I'm I'm sick of your your happy attitude. Just just go to hell, okay, motherfucker. Oh my gosh. Mm. <laughs> Was that what you're trying to do? Just, just eat, my move? eat a bag of baby <laughs> Jesus dicks. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is hilarious. Oh, God bless you, Crystal. It's too bad that god nobody's going to believe you. you that this happened, right? Yeah. Huh? It's too bad that no everyone that you tell the story to, they're going to think mm-hmm. you're full of crap. That's right. Amen. Yeah, they they got they're not going to believe this phone. Call. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope. You may as well just not tell anyone. It'll just be between you and Jesus. OMG, that is so funny. Yep. Well, if the survey is done, yeah, yeah, you guys I'm, have a blessed day. It's not done, but I'm mm-hmm. quite frankly, I'm sick of talking to you. Praise God. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Well, you be blessed anyhow. Okay. Hey, and what was your name? Uh, my name's Steve Dave. Yes, ma'am. What is it? My name's Steve Dave, and um, this is Crystal Steve with Dave. a C. Yep. <laughs> Crystal with a C. <laughs> you know, the, the godly way to spell Crystal. That's right. That's right. <laughs> the way. Right. That's right. For people that don't have demons running all over mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. Cri- yeah, C for Christian. I'm a Christian crystal. That's yep, right. yep. Do I get anything for the survey? Uh, you can kick uh, that guy in the nuts. I've given you permission. Mm, I'd watch out for oh, that one, honey. Be. I would I would, he- I would. just head out of that store. He sounds like a pervert to me. <laughs> I'd get out the mace <laughs> just so in case. Funny. Okay, guys. Well, it was nice talking to you. Okay. Hey, praise the fucking Lord, Crystal. 
Take care. <laughs> praise God. Praise the Amen. Lord. No, That's praise right. the fucking Lord and yell it out as no, loud as you can. Mine is the God F word. You. Praise That's the right. Lord. <laughs> yell out, yell out as loud as you can. Praise the effing Lord. <laughs> do it. Come on. No. Do it. I can't do that. All right, whatever. Why do we up have you. to put the F word in there? Because you, you got to show show Jesus that you mean it. That doesn't show Jesus I mean it. I think it does. You're, you're showing some passion and emotion and stuff. But I can yell out, praise the Lord. Do yeah. it a little louder. That that was nothing. I don't even know what that was. Can, can you can you talk in tongues? Ooh, yeah. Can you no, talk Oh, my Lord. <laughs> well, anyway, go fuck yourself, Crystal, with a K. That's from fuck Houston. Aww. Well, thank you. Be blessed. Have a good you one. Too. Okay, God yeah, you. yeah, yeah, you God too. God that that wasn't me talking. That was this fuck guy. Sure. All right. <laughs> Bye. All right. Punch that guy in the face. Bye. <laughs> Get your mace out. Tase him. Mm. Call nine. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, should I? I liked her. <laughs> I really awesome. liked her. She was amazing. I want to hang out with her. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Let's go to coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Where was that? Uh, Aww, that's Chicago, in Chicago, wasn't it? Yeah, that's Chicago. Aww, hey, laugh track man, right. if you're listening, you gotta you gotta go hang out with that lady. She's pretty cool. I, I and I know you're into religion, so. You guys didn't have stuff to talk about. Well, she didn't seem easily offended, so yeah. bless her heart. I guess. Ooh, next door. Uh, number three wants to take a page from Gloria's uh, stuff and tell an employee to throw Bibles at customers. <laughs> that could be fun. <laughs> Maybe we could, you know, injure someone. Have the Bible, have the Bible opened to like, you know... <laughs> <laughs> we need you to hit someone with the scripture. That's right. With Leviticus. That guy over there looks gay. Just hit him with the book of Leviticus. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Oh, hey there. This is uh, Steve Dave from the corporate office. Hey. Hey there. Uh, do you, I'm calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer in there I could speak with? Yes. Yay. Yeah, we just do a quick survey with them and... Okay. And it'll just take a minute and, and they get free stuff. Uh, you do you mind taking a customer service really fast? <laughs> Hello? Hello, is this a customer? Yes. Okay, did yes, he tell did he tell you that you're the one millionth customer at this location? No. Okay, I, I think he misunderstood what I was saying. He, you actually get to do the shopping spree today. Get out of here. Yep, no, I'm completely <laughs> serious. What? Yep, a shopping spree. You get uh, 30 seconds. You only have 30 seconds to run around the store as fast as you can, grab what you can in your arms, and bring it up to the counter. Oh, wow. So so on uh, the, so on here's what we're going to do. On the count of three, you got to run around the store, grab as much as you can, and he will say stop when it's 30 seconds is up. Okay, so let me get a phone back to him. Okay, well, no, you, can, right. you can run around with the phone. That'll be more comical for us. Okay. Is it a cordless? So yeah. Okay. So currently, I'm the millionth shopper today. No, no, you don't. Store. You don't have to tell him. He, he's. He, Can I get a shopping spree. No, no, don't even tell him. We're just gonna do it. We we, we got to be spontaneous. I, I thought he was joking. He's no, like no. He's serious. Well, anyway, hey, stop talking to him before you figure it out, sir. Can you hear me? Nope, I'm here. Okay, great. Okay, are you ready to go? It's gonna be rough, but yes. Yes. Okay. Here we go. On the count of three. Three. One. Two, three, go, 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 go! Woohoo! Okay, 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 okay. Shopping spree, huh? Might as well go all out, man, if I'm gonna do that. Oh, wait a minute, excuse me, man. Uh, 30 seconds, man, that goes so darn fast, it's ridiculous. You know what? I think that uh, the women. Uh, alright, 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 alright. I know I'm getting in there close. Oh, yeah, 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 duh, tw- 20 seconds. This is like comical. I'm like for real. Like he, he got to be kidding. It's he very comical about this. All right, all right, all right, all right. Even though we're just kidding, uh, you know, there's not really shopping. Uh, uh, really, 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 really. Hey, you better not break anything. <laughs> I'm trying not to. Okay, ten seconds. <laughs> Try not to trip and, and throw everything across the floor. Okay. Only forty seconds left. How many? Fifty. Fifteen. Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> All right, I think I'm done. <laughs> okay, run it up to the counter and then and, and tell. Hands can only hold so much. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's why we we don't let you you know bring a cart with you because then we. <laughs> well, anyway, um, this was actually just a test. 
because you know if Jesus, if someone told Jesus that they want a shopping spree, Jesus would be like, "Oh no, I wouldn't do that." What would Jesus do? That's what you had to ask yourself. So you, exactly, you failed the test. So this was a test. Yeah, it's a test from Jesus. <laughs> and and now we have to kick you out of the store because, you know, you can't just go around taking our stuff. What were you thinking? <laughs> but I'm at the checkout. Oh, okay, well. Um, if you could just put him back on the phone, uh, we'll we'll take care of things. Okay, we'll, thank we'll you. We'll take care of everything. Just you. I, I don't know what to do. Hello. Oh, hi there. This is Steve Dave from the corporate office. Hey. Hey, I was just joking with him. He didn't really get a shopping spree. That's crazy. Why would we do that? I'm sorry. You uh, cut out for a second. What'd you say? Oh, um, yeah. I don't know. He was talking about a shopping spree or something. I was just trying to do a survey. I'm like, what kind of items do you like? And he's like. He's like, well, I'm going to run around the store and pick up all the items that I like. That's what he said. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he's he's a weirdo. I don't know what his problem is. Okay. I think uh, you should definitely leap over the counter and just tackle him. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. This kind of feels awkward at this point. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think, Sunshine? I, I think you should just give him everything he... Yeah, he you know, you know, won, you know, honestly. they're going out of business. It's you're, a Christian thing to do. Yeah, you, the Christian thing to do. What would Jesus do? Jesus yeah. would just let him have all that stuff. Just walk out of the store. With it. It's scriptural, really. A- ask, ask yourself that. You know, what would Jesus do? Yeah. Would Jesus follow corporate policy, or would he just give some random customer yeah, free why stuff? Why are you making money off the gospel, anyways? That's horrible. And what's just he want glassware for? What's he doing? Glassware. I don't know. I just heard lots of glass <laughs> rattling around. <laughs> he didn't break anything, did he? Nope. Yeah, it's not like we're going to sell this stuff anyway, you know? Fuck it. Fuck it. That's right. Here, let me let me put my coworker on. Jesus, here, take the phone real quick. Hello. <laughs> Sir? Hello? Fuck it. Hey, here you go. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I'm pretty sure it is a prank call. Oh. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, he just went off the air. We went silent to hear what they were saying. Aww. But you know what? He's got a story to tell now, right? He's 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 got a crazy wacky story to tell everyone. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> I like this one better. Uh, get an employee to swear on the Bible that they've never stolen <laughs> from the store. That's from the number three. I like that one. Oh, someone suggested I make demonic noises in the back while you call and ask for an exorcism kit. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. But my demonic voice just sucks on this. On this. Let's mixer. hear the demonic voice. I haven't heard it. Okay, hold on. Satan number ninety-eight. <laughs> Satan number ninety-eight. <laughs> I've got it labeled <laughs> Satan. That's amazing. Oh wait. What'd you say? What? 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 Hello? Yeah, it sounds a little less Satan. That, that, that sounds, sounds a little, little more, more Anton. Yeah, why, why, don't, why can't you have a deeper voice, damn it? I know. <laughs> I can put it up for you if you want, I guess. No, not really. <laughs> what? Okay, so anyway, let's, let's call up. Uh, that was Missouri. I'm sorry, I regret jumping. What he, what's I, I believe he's the one who made the suggestion, and I just said someone because I didn't see the name. It scrolled too fast. Oh yeah, yeah. Who cares about him anyway? He's, he's used to it. I always forget to give him credit for things. Do you guys sell medical holy water? That's from F and Reality. Yes. That's a good one. <laughs> oh my gosh! Is it too much to say that I, I want to like you know have some holy water for? Hello, Family Christian Stores. This is Caleb. How can I help you? Hey, Caleb. This is Steve Dave from the corporate office with hey. Family Christian. Hey. I just called to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer there I could speak with and just do a quick survey with them? Um, give me a second. Yep. Ma'am, are you free for a minute mm-hmm. to do a customer survey phone call from our corporate office? Sure. Okay, yeah. I'll do hand it over to her now. Okay. Do you want it or am I taking it? Go ahead and take it. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, this is Steve Dave from Corporate Security here at the corporate office with Family yes. Christian Stores. Yes. And um, we were just, uh, I don't know, do, are, 
are you near a Bible by chance? No. Ah. <sighs> Because we really need you to, um, if you could just walk over to where the employee is and ask him for a Bible, we need you to swear on the Bible that you've never stolen from our store. Oh, I need a Bible. Yeah. Oh, okay. Are you sure this is the corporate? Oh, yeah, what's that? Okay. Hi, this is this is Caleb from Family Christian for a second. Oh, hey, Caleb. What, what exactly are you needing? Oh, just uh, just a Bible real quick. We just had to do some praying with her and stuff, you know, no, no big deal. Okay, from corporate? Yeah, for the, b- before the survey. You know, we just, we just do a quick prayer. Okay. Because we haven't done that before. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, it's like a new thing ever since the, the bankruptcy, Chapter 11 stuff started happening. Okay. I'm just trying to get an How idea. long does it take? Oh, just a minute. No, no longer okay. than a minute. Okay. Or it's sure. two, two if an employee gets on and starts questioning me. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to make sure everything yes. is, is cool here. Yeah, yeah, everything's cool. <laughs> Okay, thank you. They just want to do a prayer with the whole clothing thing. Oh, okay. Okay, my hand is on the Bible. Okay. Oh, what's your name? Judy. Okay. Say, I, Judy. I, Judy. Solemnly swear. Solemnly, solemnly swear. Yep. <laughs> that I have never shoplifted from this store. I have never shoplifted from this store or any store. Okay, let's <laughs> check this out on the, the board here. <laughs> Oh, no, it looks like you're lying. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, no. I'm just li- because there's a, another customer standing beside me. She's looking like, what? No, I'm never stolen. Hmm. No, Ma- sir. Maybe if you could just say it louder next time and the sensors will pick it up better that way. So, okay. So I, Judy, solemnly swear. I, there's so many people in here. That's why I'm Oh, just, just yell it. Who cares? We're going out of business anyway. Mm-hmm. Who, who cares? Okay. I, s- Judy, solemnly swear yeah. I've never stolen from this store. Okay. Mm. Oh, pff, I don't know. It's it's saying that you're lying. Are you, are you sure you're not like a chronic shoplifter? I don't think I am. Have you stolen from other stores? I've never stolen. <sighs> All right. Well, <laughs> I guess we'll give you the benefit you of the doubt. need another person? No, no, it's okay. It's okay. I believe, uh, personally, I believe you. The computer is just saying that you're a Well, the a computer liar. is wrong because I've never stolen. I don't know if computers ever make mistakes. Well, anyway, I can let you go. Um, do you think, before we get going, can you just yell out as loud as you can? Just, uh, you know, uh, praise the fucking Lord. Just, like, really loud. No, thank you. Goodbye. But, no, no, really, it's just just it's to show a little bit more emotion, and she's gone. You lost her. Oh, well, I can't believe... Why why the hell would she do all of that stuff she just did? And then as soon as you curse, offensive. Yeah, yeah. It's not offensive to accuse me of shoplifting from the store. Not at all. (laughs) And make me say it twice. (laughs) (laughs) In front of customers. They're all looking at her. That's right. Not offensive at all. (laughs) And to call her a liar. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh, Mang Scoos wants to say wants us to say that the holy water they sell is counterfeit. They probably don't sell holy water, but that sounds pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if they do, or they can order it if they can take any orders yet. Mm-hmm. We could just ask. <clears throat> or still, I guess. Poor <laughs> Caleb. <laughs> Caleb is all taking charge and making sure I was real and. <laughs> Family Christian Store, where we're speaking. How may I help you? Hey there. Um, I was wondering, do you sell holy water? No, we don't. <sighs> okay, darn it. Do you know where I can get some of that? Um, your local church. Well, I don't. I'm not allowed there anymore. Yeah, I don't know then. Ever since the incident. Uh huh. Um, maybe a Catholic store then. Maybe I don't. Do they make Catholic stores? I don't think that's allowed in the Bible. I don't know, sir. Yeah. Um, do you happen to have 50,000 Hebrew slaves in stock? No. Do you know if you'll have any of those in before you go out of business? No, we do not. We never know what we're going to get back. Oh, well, you just said no, you do not. But then you said you never know what you're going to get back. So you might have 50,000 well, Hebrew slaves in we stock. We don't have it in stock right now, Next but we week. never know what we're getting because we're getting some random stuff right now. <sighs> Shit, I really need 50,000 Hebrew slaves. And we don't have it in the store right now. I want to build my ark. Have a good day, sir. Where are you, where are where you are going? You? <laughs> she sounded so just like, fuck this job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad they're going out of business. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, someone someone suggests they have they have a Moses outbreak. <laughs> what? What's that mean? I don't know. I'm just I'm it a new person hilarious. in the chat room says that. They had a Moses. Okay, yeah. I regret jumping. Uh, he, he's you're an idiot. You're not supposed to say his name. Oh, what? <laughs> you're not supposed to say his name. So, you guys, we only have like maybe 500 more stores to call and then oh. the show is going to be over. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's going to be happening soon. I haven't got to pray with anyone yet. Oh, yeah. Let's let's do it. Why don't you just uh, take this one and uh, your the corporate office and, yeah. uh, you know, do a quick prayer. Wish, wish them luck in the coming... We wish them luck at the unemployment. Hey, I'm Christian. I'm help you. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Can can you say your name again, but a little more slower? Thank you for calling Family Christian. How may I help you? Oh, so you didn't say your name. Okay, hi. This is Maggie from Corporate, and I'm oh. calling each individual store since we're going out of business to just touch right. base with people. Who am I speaking with? This is Philip. Philip, hi, Philip. And so, you, um, uh, you know, it's it's just a blessed day. How are you doing? I'm good. You don't sound good. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. All right. So how do you feel about the story going out of business? Um, it's, it's, it's kind of heartbreaking. Um, just, just only because I just started maybe about like three months ago. Oh, no. But, um, yeah, the customers come in. They, they um, share their little um, stories or whatever. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Do you have another job lined up? Um, not not yet. I do for my summer job, but I mm. wanted um a job during like Amen. the um off season of my other job. Yeah, so praise God. I understand. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. Mm. Anyways, well, I was calling just to touch base and see how things are going there. Do you, do you want me to pray with you? Because I kind of feel like I need to pray. Okay, that's fine. Okay, you want to pray together? Is the store kind of full or? Uh, we're not as busy as we were earlier. Mm hmm. Okay. But it's pretty cool now. Amen. Okay, amen. All right, Philip. Well, let's just pray together. I don't know. Do you, I don't know how you feel. Do you pray out loud? Do you pray quietly? Do you pray in tongues? How do you pray, Philip? I, I just pray quietly. Mm, that's right. Well, today, we'll say it out loud, I guess. I don't know. Let's just kind of just let it loose. Let the Holy Spirit, you know, just rip one. Okay? All right. All right. Father God, I come before you right now and I lift up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have <laughs> the Holy Spirit's touching me right now. I'm sorry. Woo! Glory. Inappropriately. Okay. That's okay. Do you ever get like holy laughter where the Lord just hits you with like a spirit of joy and just boom? There you go. Yeah. Oh, that didn't sound very convincing, Philip. We're going to pray right now for joy. How's that? Father God, I come before you right now and I lift up Philip to you, Lord, and I just pray over him right now that you give him the spirit of joy over his life, Lord God, and that you help him and you touch his life right now, Lord, that your power comes down right now. Hello, this is God. Oh my gosh. Philip, do you hear that? Somebody call me? Hello? God? Did, did, did you guys need something? Hello, God calling in here. Hello, Philip. Philip, is yeah. that you? Hello. Yeah. Oh, hello, hello. I heard someone page me. Yeah. What would you need? Oh, okay. Excuse me. What, what did you need? What What do you want? Lord, I, I called you because I'm praying right now for the spirit of joy to fall upon that store right now in your holy name. Well, well I heard Philip think my name. I can read mine. Hello, Philip? Yeah. Hey, hey, what do you need? What do you want? I need everything. What, what do you want? Um, what, uh, what do, uh, my computer here, uh, your name's Martha? Yeah. Hello? Oh, you know my, you know be my name. You know me by name. Yeah, yeah. I, I know I'm a celebrity and everything, but I, I keep up with you know shit that's going down. Well, I don't know why Phil's being so quiet though. He's being kind of a dick, really. I got dressed up. People have dressed up. I got some waffle yeah. socks on. Yeah. Hey, Philip. <laughs> Philip. Yeah. Can you tell those people in the in the background to shut the fuck up? Can't hear myself think. I can't hear you. Tell those people to shut the fuck up in the background. Hey, people, shut the fuck up. Dude, 
this call is crazy. <laughs> what are you talking about? What do you mean? Like a one eight hundred. Amen. I I didn't mean to slam the table so hard. I should oh, it's okay. Hands, it's okay. <laughs> It really scared me. <laughs> I was really going to go full out prayer on that guy, and I just, I can't. <laughs> then you start laughing, and I lose my shit. No, I, that was not me. <laughs> oh, uh, Ming says, uh, S- shut the fuck up, or I'll smite you. That's right. I should have, I, I need to start threatening to smite more people. You need to do that. So, I, I would, do you remember I used to work at a Christian bookstore? I do. Yes, I used to work at a Christian bookstore. I even went to Bible University. Wow. And I studied the ministry. But my favorite thing... You're basically being, Jesus. I am. <laughs> I'm Mary. <laughs> my favorite thing was to troll the customers, though. Yep. I loved it. And I trolled a lady Imagine once. that. You trolling. I know. Can't imagine. Not at all. And I trolled this customer who came in and started screaming at me because her name was misprinted. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Did you work for Family Christian Stores? I did not. Ah, damn it. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> but I worked for an equally evil one. Yep. And she started screaming at me because her name was misprinted on her Bible. She had her Bible oh. engraved. Yeah. She was so mad. I mean, Poor she lady. leaned over the table. She is screaming at me and I mean the counter and screaming at me. And it was so awesome because she is shouting. I mean, she's scaring the is children. That like a, is that a thing that people do? They get their names engraved? Because I feel like my family yeah. had their... Okay. Yeah. Like yeah. This is their Bible, just in case there's any doubt, you know. Yeah. yeah you, you know, <laughs> you have that problem with people stealing your Bible all the time. Yeah. It's a real problem. They have to start engraving their names with gold <laughs> on Bibles. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I know. And they would charge them a hideous amount. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, just fucking write your name inside the cover. What the hell's your problem? If you need it, just... Fucking sell get a him, sharpie on yeah, the front sell, and write your name. Sell him a sharpie for two dollars instead. Right. <laughs> and she started screaming at me. And so um What was her name and how was it misspelled? Her name was Sherry, and it probably I think was an A R I instead of uh, an E. They spelled it like the drink. I or I don't know. It was something stupid. Should have been like, oh, that's a slutty way to spell it anyway, <laughs> so we did you a favor. <laughs> <laughs> and she's screaming at me like her whole life is ruined because of this. I'm like, look, lady, really? I mean, let's be honest here. It sounds like you really probably need to read what's inside the book instead of pissing on it and claiming it's your book because your name is misspelled. That sent her in an uproar. And what she would starts, Jesus do? I don't know. But she like she leaned over the counter like she was just going to go fucking crazy on me. And so <laughs> I did the one thing I knew I could do that would really piss her off and escalate shit. What? I rebuked her in the name of God. <laughs> And I started what? casting Satan out of her. <laughs> it was amazing. Is, is that a normal thing that employees do there? Oh, no, not at all. Anyway, hey, the cops got... Oh, I'm sorry. I was going to say we should do that. We should call up a store um, and get them to uh, get Satan out of a customer. We should. You're like, Do you see that customer over there? He's got a spirit. Look, she, anyways, the cops were called on me. It was awesome. The cops had to come out and take my statement. They're like, and then what did you do next? And I'm like... I rebuked her in the name of God and <laughs> I told Satan to be cast out of her. Did your bosses understand your no, uh, rebuking? No, no. In fact, I got the police calling me twice at that store. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That I, was I wish, awesome. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Like, What year would you say that is? That was? Oh, that, that happened um, probably 1990. 91. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Probably no security cameras in there then. No. That would have been nice to have that all on camera. <laughs> it would have been great. Well, she came in a week later, and I saw her, and <laughs> she's like, the Lord had me just come in here today, sister, because I just, I feel like I just need to pray with you, that God just needs to help you. There's something so wrong in your life yep. that we just need to pray for God to come in. She was so right. And heal you. And so I'm just like unbelievable so i'm like oh yes please pray with me pray with me you're right you know god needs to bring healing upon my life did you try to rebuke her again in the middle of the prayer i did so (laughs) she started praying with me and we're praying back and forth and she has this long-winded like thank god just heal her blah my sister and the lord and must have a problem in her life and and i'm like father god and touch my sister because she is just such an evil woman wait she said that or you i said that and i'm like that god would just come into her and bring light and life and cast out all the darkness of her very black soul she was so pissed off it was amazing sounds like it i got reported for that too yeah well reported to the your bosses or to the to the boss yeah Yeah. oh well well you know the joke's on them because all the christian bookstores are going out of business (laughs) 
Oh, I love that store. Those some great times. I miss it. I should go back and get a job there just so I can troll people again. <laughs> They've forgotten you by What's now. What's the worst they're going to do? Fire me again? <laughs> I really want to get a, 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 a clerk job somewhere. Thank you for calling Family Christian. It's Becky. How can I help you? Hey, Becky. This is Steven from the corporate office with Family Christian. Hello? Hello? <gasps> They've heard of you. <laughs> Whoa. I wonder if that's one that I called the other day. I kind of lost my place on this list, so. That was in uh, North Carolina, and I called a few in North Carolina the other day. I remember that. So maybe. You know what? I want a break. I, I, I kind of want to, like, go get some water and, and, and stuff. I don't know. So let's take a quick uh, pee break, everyone. I want to play some religious music for this pee break we're about to take. Sound good? Yes. Okay. Yay. Yes. We'll be back in like, uh, I don't know, five. We can do it in five, right? Yes. Circle K, Pam speaking. Hello, Pam. It's Roy Gerbel. Yes. I'm calling you from the corporate cell. Okay. There's a problem you need to know. Your system's down and the network's slow. Oh, great. Every time you make a sale, the board lights up and the hard drive fails. But don't worry, we can make it stop. Head to the back and find the breaker box. Okay, now just you listen. You need to flip all the switches. All of them? We're resetting the system. I'm scared to do this. Flip all the switches. <laughs> we'll fix this now. We need your help. This is a part of working in retail. Okay, then. Don't you worry. We're almost through. Open the door. Label panel 2. Okay, now just you listen. We gotta do this now. You need to flip all the switches. All of these in front of me? We're resetting the system. Well, what system are you trying to reset? Flip all the switches. I know you hear alarms going on. Am I supposed to be doing this? And you think you need to call your boss. Customers, keep coming in. <laughs> keep your focus and please ignore them. This is the worst problem I've ever seen. Oh, great. Now it's affecting all of the machines. We've got one last chance to gain control. Hold on, then. Find the door labeled 900 volts. Okay, now just you listen. I sign your paycheck. You need to flip all the switches. We're resetting the system. It's going to shut the whole store down. Flip all the switches. It's okay, ma'am. The lights went out. Look, there went the light. The circuit's waiting for another route. I can't see anything. Keep flipping all the breakers down the road. Four, five. Oh shit, six, you're on a cordless stop. Hello? Now do I turn them back on? Yes, ma'am, you turn them back on. Uh, hold on, then. Every, every time you turn one on, you have to tell me that you turn it on. You have to say one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it looks like everything's back on. I'm checking the board now, and as a matter of fact, some of the lights are now turned from red to green, so it's actually working. And I'm green on that it side? Looks like, yes, ma'am. It's, it's a very successful job. You've done a very good job. Have yourself a cup of coffee on the house. I, I've never ha I've worked here for over a year, and I've never had anybody call me in the middle of the night and have me do that. It uh, happens from time to time, ma'am. It rarely happens, but it does happen. Okay. So all of my computers and everything will all come back up and everything? Yeah, it might Just take like about two or three hours, but they will come back up. Okay, then. So it's okay for us to hang up then? Yeah. should have been the end song you know it is finished get it get it wouldn't that be hilarious just just a crazy thought i don't know god bless you man Praise I, I don't know who said it in the chat room but they said that that song sounded like sounded like an 80s uh, cartoon theme song 
know, opening to Transformers or something. I don't know. <laughs> it kind of does. Do you think about it, Transformers? <laughs> okay, so we're going to do some more calls to Christian stores. We're just going to do like one or two more and then we're quitting. We're going to be on the air maybe, uh, you know, 10 minutes tops more. That's all. What? What are you looking at me like that for? I don't know. <laughs> Aren't you ready to leave? I'm, no, uh, I'm not. No, I'm kidding. No, we're going to do like five more hours, you guys. Five more hours. Yep. Yeah. Hey, I'm some... just going to echo everything you say. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> I need a sidekick like that. That's right. Can you laugh at all my jokes too, please? <laughs> oh, you're so funny. <laughs> uh, so somebody, I forget where, but somebody suggested to me that... Um, I play this independent band as background music, and it's called The Fish Who Saved the Planet. And they have <laughs> a SoundCloud page, or no, it, maybe it was a Bandcamp page. I don't know. But I don't know. I, I listened to every one of their songs, and I turned it all into one giant loop. And I took out everything that had lyrics in it. So it's just a bunch of instrumental weird stuff. Does it sound holy? This does not sound holy. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. I'm sorry. Does it sound like a Saturday morning cartoon theme song? This right here, what you're playing? Yeah. I don't know. Kind of sounds like some like 1970s porn. Does it sound like we're, <laughs> kind hip- of we're hippies? Music. Maybe. Okay, let's. Okay. Let's. I, I don't know. Let's just do something. Do you want the first one? Yeah, if we get a female. Okay. I hate women. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna show them women. That's right. Thing or two. Oh, by the way, these these businesses are not closed on Sunday. Uh, <gasps> every one of these says 12 to 5 on Sunday. Oh my gosh, that's so. Like not okay. I know. I'm glad they're going out of business. This is why they're going out of business. Yeah, they're okay. they're defying Jesus, making people work on a Sunday. Defying Jesus. Who does that? <laughs> they're basically saying "fuck you, God." Yeah. Thank you for calling Family Christian Stores at Sand Hill Village. Our store hours what? are Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Oh, Sunday, then why aren't you picking 12, up? It's like in 1985. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Answering machine. Discounts are 10 to Somebody donated the machine off. to him. <laughs> this we have many people coming. I wish I could hack machines still. This seems like a bad idea. <laughs> it is a very bad idea. You don't want to do that. In this day and age. Hacking bad. Yep. Yep. Only when they're watching you, though. God's always person, watching. This is Jackie. How can I help you? Hi. Um, this is Hugh. Family Christian? I know, sweetie. What was your name? Oh, Jackie. I'm sorry. Jackie. It's all right, hon. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. This is, uh, my name is Crystal, with a K, and um, I'm calling to find out. Someone told me that you sell, like, a home exorcism kit. A home exorcism kit? Yeah, it has, like, holy water and, and um, like, an oh. instruction manual, because I'm, oh, my no. God, Jackie. My kid is 13, and he is such a little fucker. I'm so sick of his shit. He started mouthing me yesterday and shit, and I'm like, oh, my God, I think we just need to get the devil right out of him. And you don't have anything like that to help parents, like how to get the devil out of your teenagers? I I have, um, I say... Shut up! Shut the fuck up! I'm sorry, Jackie, hold on. Fucking shut up! See what I mean? This is what I mean. Fuck this shit. Oh my God, help me. Jackie, what do you have, honey? Just keep talking. I'll ignore the little fucker. I think you should just go to the word. To the word? Well, can you pray? You know what? If you don't have anything there, will you pray with me, please? Because I'm at my wit's end. I'm at my wit's end. I have prayed over him. come up here and Mm. we can look for some stuff. Well, I, I just, I can't leave the house right now. Because he started, like, you know, kicking holes in the walls and everything. He's just a little out of control today. Would you pray with me? I sure will. Go ahead, hon. No, hon. Can you start and I'll finish, please? Oh, yes. Hold on for one moment, okay? Let me get somewhere. Thank you. Hold on one moment. Thank you. I'm going to let her start. She's got to get somewhere. She can't let people see her praying. What would they think? Shut up! What a sandwich! Fuck off! I'll give you a sandwich to your goddamn face! That was lame, Mom. Fuck you, you're lame. Lame little fucker. What a bastard child. I wonder if Mary ever felt this way. Apparently it's a really big store. <laughs> <laughs> 
She's gonna find somewhere. What's she walking to? She's looking for like a, a shelf to kneel behind. <laughs> a shelf. <laughs> like build a little a prayer wall with Bibles. And stuff. What do they call confessionals? Yeah. I wonder if they sell confessionals. Or a masturbation box. Oh, stop. That's what Saul calls it. <laughs> <laughs> masturbation box. Ma'am, I'm going to put you on speaker. Can you hear me? Yes, it was Jackie, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. We're going to pray with you, okay? You're, will you say we're going to? Are there more than one? Yes, ma'am. He's, he's just, uh, he works here too. Mm, God's His army. Name is- Hi. Ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Go on now. Bring it, please. Go ahead. What's your name? What's your name, hon? Crystal with a K. Crystal with a K. Crystal. Lord, we just lift Crystal up to you Crystal. right now, Lord. And I just pray, Lord, you would just help her with whatever she's going through. Just give her strength and courage, wisdom, understanding, direction in her life. Lord, I pray that you just wash her clean with your blood. I pray that you would just move in her life, Lord. You would just open doors, save her, and deliver her, Lord. And just give her the strength and the courage to go forward in you, Lord. Help her, Lord, in everything she's going through, Lord. And, Lord, just show her direction. Give her the power. Give her understanding. Give her the Shut up! 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 We draw the joy of her salvation and give her joy and oh spirit glory and give her peace that passes all understanding right now in the name of Jesus. Oh my God. And Father yeah. God, I pray right now that you would give me the patience to be a better mother over this little fuckhead that you have given me and cursed my life with. Shut up, Mom. That you would just please deliver the demons of rebellion out of this child, Lord God, and give me your patience, Lord God. Lord, oh my God. <laughs> God, please deliver me from this asshole of a child, Father God, and give me wisdom how to help him be a man of God. Your mom's an asshole. Oh, Jesus. oh, my God. Oh, Lord, Lord, take the anger and the bitterness out of her heart. Robo. Would deliver her, Lord, and deliver her. you will save her son and deliver oh, him to Lord. Move in his life right now. I bind you, sin. I command you to cease operation to be scattered. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth against you. You will not have them. Hear you there? Let them go and let them go yes, right now in the name of Jesus. That's right, Crystal. Mm hmm. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, for y'all, for praying with me. And you know, you know, you can come up here anytime, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you serve wine there, honey? Maybe a little weed or something? Because I'm feeling like that's what's going to deliver me from this mess. Setting the carpet up. No, you Shut know up! I mean, Shut the fuck up! Avoid. Oh my god, he's like his fucking father. I can't take this shit anymore! Well, that's honey, I think you just... I, I don't think... Um, I don't think it's... I think it's... <laughs> just, I don't think the door will help you. God can only fix that. I'm sorry, what? And and have you ever tried have you ever tried putting him somewhere? Where should I put him? Well, my um my cousin, her son goes around and throws stuff at her, cuss at her, mm. um, to the point that she got so sick. Is her daughter gay to too? Because my son's gay and I think that's a lot of our problem. But go on with what you're saying, please, Jackie. Oh, okay. Okay, well, if you need anything, hon, just come, just come up here. Well, well no, tell me the story about your cousin. Like, second. where did they put her? How do I take this off? They, hello. Mm-hmm. Can you hear me? Shh. <sighs> yes, go ahead, oh, please. They put her in. Um, they put her in the hospital, and so she was in the hospital. She almost died because of her of her stress. I see. I'm sorry. But, they almost, um, your your cousin almost said, died from her stress. Yes, ma'am. Holy but I'm going to tell you. Can you call me back in like five minutes? Yeah, I've got to go. He's starting to put the fucking Madonna and Cher CDs in again. I got to get him. Okay. Thank you. Did she hang up on me? I think so. Oh my god. <laughs>
I, do, I felt like that's such an awkward ending. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, I was gonna come in as God, and she like starts telling this crazy this really story. Sad story, and her cousin almost died. And I feel guilty when people <laughs> tell me that shit. Like, don't fucking make me a human. You, need, when, you know what? When they do that, you really need to just say, you know what? That's a great story, but it's really ruining my high. Needs more dragons. No, yeah. I say it's ruining your high. <laughs> they love that. <laughs> Makes me feel bad. <laughs> I like the uh, the chat room name Team Team Wolf Genius. Oh, I can't even say Team, Team Wolf, Wolf Jesus. No, it's Team Wolf Jesus. Oh yeah, Team Wolf Jesus. I gotta refer to him in the chat room from now on. <laughs> that lady. Thank you for calling Family Christian. This is Nikki. How can I help you? Hi, Nikki. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, hon. Hey, I work for corporate office and we're just calling different stores, you know, because we're closing and just a little sure. bit of a survey just to kind of find out where we really fucked up between you and me. So do you have what was that? Just to find out where we really, you know, screwed up or fucked up just to find okay. out. So do you have any customers in there I can do a survey with? Um, we do have a few customers. Mm, just pop one on the, a woman, preferably I don't like men. They kind of scare me. Okay. Um, hang on just a moment, okay? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Who's that guy preaching in the background? Oh. <laughs> Sounds serious. Yeah, he did. Probably doing a prayer chain right now for me <laughs> throughout all the churches. Oh, all you guys. The, the bookstores. I always forget the Facebook mobs. Sorry. Oh. I had all that time to prepare, too. and Forgot the Facebook mob. Oh, well. Who are we going to do a Facebook mob with? Well, nobody, because I forgot. Oh, Oops. God. I don't really hate men. I just offend women a lot easier than <laughs> Except men. Except for me. Except for me. <laughs> I, I just offend women really well. Okay, Team Wolf Jesus. <laughs> I will do that. <laughs> Why are we on hold? What, what I happened? Know. I don't know. You know, it was weird when I kept putting the Satan voice on that guy that was doing the prayer, it but when really I took it off, he was still really creepy sounding. He was. Like, it was, it was just, <laughs> I didn't understand him. He was kind of Yeah. Creepy. Well, they put you on speakerphone. That's what, I, what they do. Like, I just pictured them like kneeling in the back room or something. <laughs> I know. And her cousin almost dying. I thought just right in the feels. Creepy. Yeah. What the hell? Her kid sounds like a real asshole, though. I know. <laughs> I tried to, did you hear her as soon as I said the gay thing? Oh, like she understood finally what the <laughs> kid's problem was. <laughs> He's gay. <laughs> Should, I, I kind of think I want to just hang up on this one. Yeah, what's the problem? You know, do, do a new one. Yeah. This lady's fired. <laughs> this hold music's the best. Oh, it's not hold music. This, this is yours? <laughs> this is the, the... This is nice and relaxing. The, the fish who saved the planet. So, nice. Whoever suggested this to me, I, I I took your suggestion and I turned it into a big one-hour loop. It's nice. Of, this is very relaxing. Yep. Relaxing for Jesus. That's right. Hello, this is Family Christian. Matt speaking. How can I help you? Hey, Matt. This is Steve Dave from the corporate office with Family Christian. Hey, Hey, I'm just calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer there I could speak with and just do a quick survey with them? Um, hang on a minute. Okay. I'm sorry, there's not anyone available right this minute. Oh, there's no Would customers? Would you mind calling back? Uh, when, there, so there's no customers in there right now? Uh, there's no one handy. I see. Okay. That's weird. I thought your stores were just filled with people all the time. No wonder you're going out of business, you know? Uh, sorry, what did you say your name was? Steve Dave from the corporate office. Okay. Yep. Do you believe me this time? Um, I think so. Okay. Is there a reason I shouldn't? Uh, nope, nope. I, I'm to I, you should totally believe me. No okay. Nothing strange about this call. Nothing weird going on here. All right. Everything's well, totally good. normal. I'm glad to hear it. On the up and up. Um, I am 100% yeah. totally with the corporate office. Amen. Not not with the right. Saturday afternoon prank call show at all. That's right. Yep. <laughs> all right. Would you mind leaving your number uh, so I can have my manager get back to you? Uh, no, I don't leave numbers. Mm -mm. Numbers are for squares, man. That's right. Just look on your caller okay. ID. Does it show a number? Uh, yeah, I can check that. Okay. What does it say right now? Can you just check? We have to make sure it's the right one. Uh, no, I can't talk while I'm on the phone. Or I can't check it while I'm sure on the phone. Sure you can. Just pull it away from your ear and, and click on the things. It'll show you. 
All right, let me try that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Uh, our number is like one eight hundred six 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 six, or I think it's six 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 seven 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 seven, or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to do a survey. Let's I've got, do a survey. I've got a number two pencil gave me an idea for a survey. I, I, I just kind of family st- Christian. This is Laura. How can I help you? Hey, Laura. This is Steve Day from the corporate office with Family Christian. Hi. Hi. I just calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer in there I could speak with and just do a quick survey with them? Um, about God, this is not <laughs> a usual thing. Oh no, we we somewhere we've started ever since we've we've had the problems with Chapter Eleven and everything. They're trying to figure out how to save the stores and just getting a little bit of input. Um, I don't think that I should. Okay, look, listen, bitch. You don't get paid to think. You get paid to do what you're told by the company. <laughs> She's gone. Oh, shit! What 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 was that? Thank God not everyone's that 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 cautious, smart or, yeah, that smart, yeah. full of common sense. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for calling Family Christian. This is Nick. How can I help you today? Hey, Nick. This is Steve Dave from the corporate office. Now I'm calling. Hey, what's up? Hey, I'm calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer in there I could speak with? Just do a quick survey with them. Uh, who, what corporate office are you calling from? With uh, Family Christian Stores. We just, we just do surveys every once in a while. We've kind of started doing it more often lately to, uh, you know, we're trying to save the company and everything. <laughs> uh, how are we going to save the company? We're already going out of business. Uh, hey, hey, no, nothing's final yet. Quit, quit being so negative. Well, I... <laughs> I mean, I apologize. The number you're calling from uh, is an unfamiliar number, and oh. I've never heard of anybody doing this before, so... Which number do you um, show? I show 1-800-666-6666. <laughs> that's hilarious. You know, like, things yeah, are just a I little... Things are a little relaxed here at the corporate office, and we're just fucking around. I just changed the caller ID in the phone system to say that. I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> so what was your name? If you call it back, it's like a white supremacist line. Oh, really? Yep. It's, it's hilarious. <laughs> well, anyway, just put put a customer on. I, I don't have time to chat with you all day. Jesus Christ. What would you say your name was? Steve Dave. I'm sorry? Steve Dave. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. I'm ready for you to put someone on. Okay, he hung up. Do I just not sound believable all of a sudden? I don't know. You, should, you know, I could always call them back and be more believable. <laughs> At least get someone on the line. You're like, hello, I'm a completely different person. I know. That's like uh, three in a row. Oh, wait, no, you got put on hold. They didn't necessarily deny you. I have a question storm cold water. This is Justin. How can I help you? Hey, Justin, this is Steve Day from the corporate office with uh, Family oh, hi. Christian. Hi. I just calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer in there I could speak with real quick? Um, just do a survey with them. A customer that you can speak to? Yeah, yeah. Just put them on the phone. We'll do a quick survey with them. Okay. Give See how much they know about second. God. Okay. It's corporate office, and they want to take the Uh, can I put you on hold, please? Okay. Okay. There's the hold music. I think her name's Jocelyn, not Justin. Well, I'm going to call her Justin. <laughs> She'll always be Justin to me. <laughs> God. I don't even want to go there. <laughs> just Can we just awkwardly let that one go? Okay. <laughs> Everyone's putting us on a hold today. I know. What the hell? I don't know. It's a praise period. You should be praying when she gets back on the line. <laughs> She's probably back already. Are you back, Justin? Start praying in tongues. Robobo, shabobo, la 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 la. I'll just go. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Hello. Hello. 
Brown Magic thinks we're getting traced. They're going to trace us to heaven. Okay, I'm just going to move crazy. on, I yeah. guess. What is he doing? She's quit the show. It's falling, no, it's falling apart. It's not falling apart. I've, I've got this one thing I really want to try with a survey that <laughs> stole from number two pencil. I want this to work. Thank you for calling Family Christian. This is Kayla speaking. Hey, Kayla. This is Steve Day from the corporate office with Family Christian. Hi, how are you? Hi, not too bad. I'm just calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer there I could speak with? Just do a quick survey with them. Um, just a random customer? Yeah, yeah, any customer. We just do a survey every once in a while and get some, get okay, some feedback from um, them. You know, keep 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 uh keep, keep up on what people want because we don't want to go out of business or anything like that. Right. Yep. Um, let me. Do one of you guys mind taking a survey? Just on the phone, real quick, with our corporate. I just he just wants to he just wants to, you guys look like the nicest one that you could do. I just want to ask when somebody be like completely rude. So I just if you don't mind, yeah. Hello. Hi, this is Steve Day from the corporate office. Hi. Did, did she say you were the nicest people in there? <laughs> Bas- yes, I guess so. It kind of sounds like she's saying everyone else sucks. No, okay. I think we were the more approachable one. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, um, if you don't mind, I just want to ask a, a, a few questions real quick, uh, just some survey questions. It'll just take a minute. Okay. Okay, uh, question number one. How many fingers? How many fingers? Yeah, you know, how many fingers? Do I have? No, no, just, you know, how many <laughs> fingers do you use? Um, to pray? Oh, uh, well, I mean, if you don't count the thumb as a finger, then it would be four. I mean, eight. Eight. Okay. Yeah. Nine. Right. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. Eight. No, not nine. <laughs> unless you're a freak <laughs> mutant or something. Okay. Great. Um, nine or ten, eight fingers. Okay. Perfect. That is a, uh, let's see. Correct answer. <clears throat> okay. Question number two. Do you prefer, do you, do you prefer them to be black or white? There's no preference. Well, you know. But what do you like? You know, do you like them black or do you like them white? My fingers? Oh, no, no. We're not talking about fingers anymore. You okay. know you know what we're talking about. Black or white? Um, I don't, I, I don't know really what we're talking about. Oh, so the, I, I can't say. The, the color of a Bible. Well, you know, some people like the black Bible. Some people like white. What color of Bible do you uh, do you have, or do you prefer? My Bible is pink. Pink? Oh, wow. That's blasphemous. Okay. Well, anyway, we'll just move on to the next one. Have you ever been in a three-way? No. Never? Never been in a three-way? Never just, just decided um, to experiment? or. No. No three-ways. Hmm. I mean, you know what I mean by three-way, right? No, I'm I'm not quite sure. Like you know, like in a three way situation where like a sinner needs needs some help and you wanna help him but another Christian steps in and does the job before you can and you're kind of upset. You know, like a three way. No, I actually have not. Okay, um one last question? And okay. then we can wrap it up. Okay. <laughs> have you ever been fucked in the ass? Can you elaborate on what you are meaning? No. Just, but have I, you ever I been fucked I, in the ass? No, because these questions are very, um, they are misleading in the sense that he does not elaborate on the meaning of the question. <laughs> oh, no, I wouldn't so say that. No, no, I'm, I'm being question completely... Is, your questions aren't... This is very the way you are implying them, they are not very Christian questions if you're not in no, a Christian state of mind. I feel like I'm being mind. very straightforward. I'm just asking if you've ever been fucked in the ass. Some women no. prefer not to be fucked in the ass. Some people do. No. Okay. I guess that's going to wrap it up then. That's all. That's just the four questions we have. 
thank you very much for taking part in the survey. And if, if all goes well, your, your feedback will help keep us in business for many years to come. Okay. You know, to come, you know, if you know what I mean. You know? I'm done. Well, this is the most fun. Well, do you prefer white or black? And I'm like, white or black? What? He goes, what you know. Is it a prank call? That's what I'm starting to think. Because, you know, like, white or black Bible? And I'm like, my Bible is pink. And he goes, how many fingers? How many fingers? What? It would be a prank call. And he goes, you know, and he's laughing. He goes, you know, how many fingers do you say? And he's like, I go, eight? Oh, okay. And he goes, eight? And I go, eight? And he goes, 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 eight? Come, come, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm going to say it. Could a corporate dance call for... Oh, I was going to ask her the follow-up question if she's ever been pegged. Someone in the chat room suggested that. <laughs> well, that, that, that went well, I, I felt. <laughs> Her Bible was pink. That was yeah. great. Number two pencil made a joke earlier in the chat room. I forget exactly what he said, but you know, how many fingers do you use to pray? I think that's all he said. He's probably responded to someone else, but that just gave me the whole, I, I just, you know, made up some questions after that that are worse than that one. But yeah. Whatever. She, she reacted perfectly to all of them. It was pretty crazy. <laughs> and, and I don't know if you could hear it, but, um, the employee gave her a discount. Yeah, for I heard that. It's <laughs> awesome. That's a win. Yeah, she's yeah. she's not too scarred now. Yeah. What would Jesus do? Jesus would help people get discounts yeah. on their merchandise. Oh yeah, he'd give them a twenty percent discount on the gospel. That's right. <laughs> the word of God discounted. Uh, Brown Magic says that makes up for the rest of our shitty calls. What? Thank, thanks, Brown Magic. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not even going to. <laughs> okay. Um, I think you should take the next one. Okay. What do you think I should do? Or, or, or if you want me to get the survey started and you can well, take the I survey. Can, well, I, I want to be the secretary. I can't remember who suggested I should be the secretary and then put God oh, on Jesus. the line. Or, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, definitely. I'll put my boss on. <laughs> Hello. Fuzzy Paul is not. Family Christian, this is Heather. How can I help you? Oh, hi, Heather. Blessed day. How are you? I'm doing good. How about you? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you, sweetheart. This is Maggie from Corporate Office. And oh, we're yeah? Just, yeah, we're just making some calls since we're going out of business and stuff because, you know, we fucked up over here. And um, we're just connecting with people. And I just thought I'd call and put my boss on the line and let you talk to my ultimate boss. And, you know, if okay. you have any needs or concerns you want to talk about. Um, okay. You, can you hold, please, one second? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Heather. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. Here's my boss. Okay. Hello. This is God. What can I do for you? Hello? Hello, is this Heather? Heather? Yes? This is God. What can I do for you? Nothing. What did you... I don't know. Sunshine passed me the phone. What do you want? Do what? I said, what do you want? I'm a busy man. I'm God, for God's sake. I'm... Jesus Christ, lady. Come on. This call's nine ninety-five a minute. Okay, well, I have customers coming up to the register. I have to get off here, okay? I'm not made of money, you wait, know. Wait, wait, Heather, you just told God you're going to get off. Um, That's disgusting, Heather. Made her hang up for some reason. I don't know why. That last bit was awesome. <laughs> you. Aww. No, you're awesome. Hey, there's a call coming in. Yeah. Hey, uh, west of the Rockies. I mean, east of the Rockies. <laughs> hey, you you're are. on the air. Hey, what's going on, Roy? 
the fuck? Hello, how are you today? I'm doing good. How about your Hey, show? please don't mock God. <laughs> I'm mocking God. I'm going to send you to hell, motherfucker. I'll send you right straight back to hell yourself. Hey, you know what? Hell. You know what? what? Fuck you, pal. I'm hanging up. <laughs> you hear the fucking phone. He wins. I hung up. That was fun. Okay, so yeah, what are we doing next? <laughs> um, um, we're doing Iowa next. Iowa. Davenport. What happens in Iowa? The best city in Iowa. I've never heard of Davenport, Iowa. Everyone's heard of Davenport. You got another call coming in. Ah, fuck that guy, though. Should he, we ask him if they have a Christmas? Hey, hey, hold on. Shut up. I'm trying to talk to Sunshine. He, he's east of the Rockies, so we don't yeah, care about him. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. That's right. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, this is Dave from the corporate office. Yeah. And I am calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer there I could speak with? Uh, no, I don't think we need a survey today. Thank you. Ah, fucking shit. Man, okay. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Jesus Christ. Fucking fuckity. F- okay, he's gone. Again. We should, we should do the, um, ask him if, you know, we were walking by that store last night that had the big crucifix, or was that the night before last? We saw the big crucifix. Yeah, the yeah. We were joking that maybe we should go in and buy, ask him if we can buy the crucifix. <laughs> you guys, there's a hardware store, yeah. like, just just down the road, and they've, there's, they've, <laughs> they've set up quite the Easter display. Yes. <laughs> it's got three crosses, and it, it doesn't look like a hardware store. <laughs> Grandpa's near death, and he asked his dying wish was to be crucified like Christ to identify with them. And we're going to reenact it. I wonder if on anyone's ever, ever done that in our backyard. We should do it. Thank you for calling Family Christian. This is Joe. How can I help you? Hey, Joe. This is Steve Dave from the corporate office with Family Christian. Hey. Yeah. Hi. I'm just calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer there I could speak with? We'll just do a quick survey with oh. them. Sure. Um, let me see if I have one that's hanging on. Okay. Find one approachable, you know, in case you're scared. Right. Find, find the, the nicest looking ones in the store. Um, I only have a couple, I think. I'm trying to find. Huh? I don't know. She's mumbling something. Um, hang on. Just one second. Uh, do you want this one, or should I take it? Or I don't care. I don't even know what to say to anyone. Anymore. I don't care. I, I did my number two pencil idea, so I'm, that was I'm, awesome. Actually. I'm pretty much just done with the show. Oh, let's stop. just quit. That was great. You should do it again. <laughs> you should recreate the joy. That was great. <laughs> someone wanted us to. Uh, someone suggested. I think they're suggesting that we flip all the switches. That seemed to be easy to do the other day. I can't believe they did that. Like seriously, oh, it's, what the it's fuck? Stupid! How easy it is. Who does that? Everyone. Fifty <laughs> percent of the people you call. We'll I wish flip all the switches. I wish you'd called why when I worked in a, a Bible bookstore. That would have been awesome. Yeah. Well, you know, next that. time you're hanging out in a store and you're sitting in a waiting room, <laughs> I've had friends that have done this. They call me up. They're like, "I'm hanging out here. Um, why don't you do something? Make something happen?" I'm like, okay. Start making phone calls, and I, I used to do that with uh, Spessa a lot. And she'd go up there. Like, she, I remember she took pictures of uh, the, their notes on the weird prank caller, and they're speculating who it was oh, in the notes funny. and everything. <laughs> I don't really hang out in fun places, though. I can pull that shit. Any place you're at, like just a waiting room. What, is the lady listening to us still? What's going on? I don't on? know what she's doing. Hello? What did she think? We lost our music. What was her name? I forget. It doesn't matter. Who cares what her name is? You hear that, lady? Who cares what your name is? God cares. Hello, this is God, and I do not care. If she'd been the only person on the earth, God still would have died for her. Yeah. Or sent his son to die for her. <laughs> no, no, God's a pussy. He, he sent his son down. You know? I don't, don't want to die. I'll just make th- this guy do it. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> I make my kids, you know, load the dishwasher and shit. I wonder if it's the same thing. <laughs> You're like, you know what? You know what God did? Thank you for- oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Hello. Hey, you don't want to call me. What's up? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I was just <laughs> being blasphemous. This is Steve Dave from the corporate office. Hi, with... how are you? This is Pam. How can I oh, help hey, you? Oh, hey, Pam. Uh, we're just doing the weekly customer survey. Um, do you have a customer there I could speak with and just do a quick survey with them? Sure. Hang and on one sec. I won't curse. 
that won't curse? No, I no, I said I won't curse this time. The last customer I talked to at another store, I accidentally said the F bomb. It was embarrassing. Oh, wow. But no, I'll be good this time. Okay. Hang on one sec. <laughs> She's funny. I wish we just got her. Hey, I got a question for you. I have a guy calling from headquarters, and he wants to um, ask you your opinion of what's going on. Well, we would like to know why y'all closed. You know, only Christian books that we have to leave. This is this is from customer service. Um, mm-hmm. Customer service. He wants to do a survey with you, and you just tell him exactly what you think. Okay. Hello. Hi, this is Steve Dave from the corporate office with Family Christian yes. Stores. Mm-hmm. And I'm just calling to do a survey. Yes, sir. So, um, do, if you don't mind, we just uh, ask you a few questions. Oh, sure. No problem. Okay, and uh, what's your name? Angela Smith. Okay. That's not a very interesting last name. <laughs> Actually, Angela's pretty boring. Not my very common. Is, my married name is not. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, that was a poor decision you made. <laughs> Um, so question number one, what's your favorite sin? Favorite what? Sin. You know, what sin do you most enjoy committing? None. <laughs> well, no, come on. No, I, we have to be honest because right. oh, we can tell. Oh, God, you one? Did you, okay, I'm sorry, what did lying. you just say? Lying would be the one that most people would do. Oh, okay. I, I thought it would be blasphemy because you just said, oh, God. <laughs> and, you know, actually not funny at all. Uh, okay, question number two. What's your second favorite sin? Oh. Or wait, wait. Can you tell me, like, what's the biggest sin you've ever committed in your entire life? Uh, and then we'll pray no. about it. <laughs> Not going to do that. <laughs> oh, no, no. It's okay, because you, you're, you're in a safe place right now. You're in a family sure. Christian store. <laughs> We're, we'll, we'll always be here for you. No, no, I, no, thank you. Um... Let's see. Pussy? Uh, oh, goodness. I wasn't expecting these questions. What? <laughs> wasn't expecting these questions. Uh, let's see. Is there a um, Bible around you by chance? Like a Bible nearby? There's plenty. <laughs> okay. Yeah, could you take one? Could, could you pick one up real quick? All right. Let's see. Uh-huh. All right. Could you put your right hand on top of the Bible? Uh-huh. Hand. Holding it in my hand. Okay. And if you could just say... uh. Say, I, I solemnly swear that I have never shoplifted from the store. Oh, yeah, I solemnly swear I've never shoplifted from this store. Well, no. can, is, can, you say it lo- can you say it loudly, like you're not ashamed of it and like I've you're being honest? I've never shoplifted out of this store. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now people are looking at me strange. Oh, well, I think they're looking at you because you didn't say it loud enough. <laughs> they actually not. They're still talking about the stuff that they're buying. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, so you have nothing to worry about. You're just being weird and paranoid right. and... Um, okay, well, I think that's pretty much it for the survey. Do you think, um, uh-huh. could you just, uh, before we get going, just just uh, show God how much you love him by saying, praise the fucking Lord. Just real loud. Yell it out. Praise the fucking Lord. So, does she know that this is what this phone call is about? <laughs> yeah, it's a survey from the... From the corporate office, it's not a big deal. I was just saying you should yell out really loud. Show, this show is God. Not a call from the survey from the corporate office. What, ma'am? What? Yeah, this is your phone, and they're playing on your phone. No, I'm not playing, ma'am. Yeah. Praise the fucking yeah, Lord. They're playing on your phone. Whoever it is that called on here. Hello. Hello. I I don't know what she's talking about. I was just telling her, like, now that the survey's done, yes, maybe, ma'am. could could she just be like, just yell out? Praise the fucking Lord. Just, just. Why, why would we do that? Just, you know, to to show Jesus you love Him. You got to yell it out and say say it with meaning. Who is this? Uh, this is Steve Dave from the corporate office with. Family. So why would you call us and say that? Well, no, I was doing. You don't a, think that's disrespectful no. at all? I don't know why I'm wasting my time talking to you. Well, why don't you hang up? You then? have a manager. Why don't you hang up the phone? Okay, fine. I'll get my manager. Can you hold on? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said Aww. that. To her. I'll be the manager. I know. What was I'll I manage thinking? you. Yeah, and, and then and then you could have put your manager on. Yeah, that's right. Hello. That's right. Oh, we should have done that chain of command. What were we thinking? Yeah. Stupid us. Oh my god. What do you think? Break time or another call? Wait, you haven't really done anything yet. I know. I, I think. Let me talk.
talk. I think, yeah, sorry. I mean, you barely let me put shoes on in the kitchen. That's true. Jesus. Yeah. Only when you have to go to the store to get sandwich making supplies. <laughs> Thank you for calling Family Christian. This is Braulio. I help you. Uh, hi. Um, who am I speaking with? Braulio. Braulio? Yep. Oh, that's an interesting name. I've never heard of it before. Mm-hmm. Hey, um, Braulio, you. Mm-hmm. my name is Maggie, and okay. um, I'm calling because um, this is really embarrassing to, to talk about. Is there is there a female there I can talk to? One of the women yeah, that work yeah, in the one store? Yeah, yeah, one Thank you so much. Hello? Oh, my God, you're screaming at me. Hi. Um, what's Sorry. your name? No, it's okay. It's just you haven't even bought me dinner first. Holy shit. What's your name? My name is Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Oh, is that with an H or just an A? I'm sorry? Your name. Yes, you, with an H. Yes, ma'am. With an H? Nice. Very biblical. Hey, um, my name's Maggie. And I asked to talk to a female because I'm, I'm really embarrassed to talk to anyone about this. Um. So I, I woke up this morning and discovered that I'm a lesbian. And I was wondering if you had any kind of like books there that talk about how not to be a faggot or anything that would help me, you know? Okay. Um, I think I may have seen something like that before, but possibly not. Mm-hmm. Um, hey, hey, Sarah, how old are you? I'm 28. Oh, it's kind of hot. Are you single? I am waiting on the Lord to bring me a husband. Oh. Yeah. Have you thought about, like, you know, maybe a wife or something, or? No, 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 no. No, that's not, that's not how I was raised, and it's not how I believe, and so. Well, you um, sound really I have all compassion for people who do, but I, I have them on the other side of the track. You want to show me some compassion tonight, maybe, over dinner, or? Uh, no, not that kind. (laughs) Oh. Um, Can lay hands on me and pray home, over me? So That would be awesome. Um, but I'm looking at it, and okay. it might actually be in the teen section. In the teen section? I'm mm-hmm. not a teenager. I am 29. No, 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 no. It's not, it's not like it's like this is only for it's just teens who are gay? It, or, I mean, does, I don't know. How does this whole thing work out? Well, just go ahead and find the book and read me the description, please. Yes, ma'am. No, Sarah, please, just call me Maggie. And and if you could kind of hurry up, because the longer I'm on the phone, the more gay I'm feeling, and I just, I don't know what to do. I would suggest that you go to a church and ask for counseling. Okay, well, uh, well, right now I need to start. And then I would say that you should pray and ask God to teach you what to do. You want to pray with me, Sarah? Sure, I'll pray with you. Okay. I'm not finding the book, by the way. But if you go on the internet, you might be able to find it. What's it called? I don't actually have a book. There's um, no books? I don't know if it's... Should well, I just actually, Google God Hates um, Gays or something? I don't okay. know. Okay, I do have something that might help help you. Okay. Her name is Beth Moore. Mm, I know and, her. She's hot. She's that chick with the blonde hair, big hair. Yeah, but she has Damn, a book when that about girl her talks. struggles. Okay. Beth Moore has a book about her struggles. Her struggles? Was, so was she gay too, or...? She isn't gay, but she had suffered from feelings. She suffered from feelings like PMS kind of shit? Like, oh my God, I'm pissed off or I'm sad or like crying no, at puppy? from like lesbianism feelings. Lesbianism feelings. Oh my God. I never heard of it, that terminology before. Beth Moore had lesbian. Oh my gosh, that totally explains why I just like, when I masturbate, I think of her and I touch myself. That's why. It's like a right, shared well, I, spirit I can't amongst speak gay to people. I more about this. Um, well, you've got to pray with me. Are you going to pray with yes. me, or can we pray? Oh, yeah, I'll pray with you. Okay. Dear Lord, I thank you for Maggie, and that she's seeking to find out how to overcome. Hello, healing. you called for me. And I pray right now, Lord, that you so real to her. That's right. And um, that's right. Sarah. heal whatever scars she has in her life, oh, that's right. and just give her direction in Jesus' name. Yes, Sarah, thank you. All right, well, I have to go, sorry. <laughs> Can you can you pray just a little bit longer, just like maybe three minutes, two minutes, 60 seconds? No, that's going to be good enough. <laughs> oh, please. I wasn't quite finished. Can we just keep praying? No, that's going to be it. Oh. Have a great night. Oh, you too, Sarah. I'm going to have a great night now. Thank you. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that was awkward. That was very weird. I didn't know Beth Moore struggled from feelings of lesbianism. Uh, I tried. I didn't hear what book she said. I was trying to look it up on Amazon. I found her uh, Amazon arth- author page. It's got to be a, like an autobiography or her testimony that God released her from wanting to lick labia or something. Yeah. That's so weird. <laughs> Damn, labia liquors. That was awkward. That was an awkward ending <laughs> to an awkward call. I feel dirty <laughs> right now. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Well, maybe it's because she sounded like she's 12 or something. She did. She, she, she sounded it was like, awkward. like not just the way she talked, but the... the way her um, opinions were, I guess. I, I, I wasn't raised like that, and I'm just waiting for God to bring me a husband. Okay. <laughs> Jesus camp survivor. <laughs> that Let's was awkward. See. Oh, yeah, flip all the switches. Yeah. I, I meant to do that last time, and I ended up doing that weird oh, survey. You know what? That sucks, because she totally would have flipped the switches oh. for you. Oh. Wait, were you from the... You weren't from corporate. Let's I call her not. back. Thank you for calling Family Christian Linwood. This is Adriana. How can I help you? Hey there. This is Steve Dave from the corporate office with Family Christian. Yes. And, um, give me just a moment, sir. I guess. Um, there's somebody from corporate calling. I didn't ask for anyone, but okay. This is Tracy. How can I serve you? Hey there, Tracy. This is Steve Dave from the corporate office with Family Christian. Hi, how are you? Hi, not too bad. Uh, were you having problems with the computer there? It, se- it looks like it's um, there's there's kind of like a connection issues. We haven't got the reports. and th- Are you having issues um, there with the internets? I don't think I've been having a problem. Oh, huh, okay. Um yeah, the the IT department there want me let want me to get you to uh, just reset the system real quick, if if you don't mind. Okay, on the computer or the. Well, it's, it's built directly into the the breaker box. Like, do you know where the breakers are? The the you know the box in the wall with all the switches. Yeah. Yeah, we just have to, to flip a few of those switches, and everything will be. Everything should reset, and it'll be fine. Okay. Um, not sure which breakers. <laughs> are there a, are there more than one? The one in the, is it the one with the computers and stuff? Um, well, is it, where where are where is the the circuit breaker boxes? Are they like in the back somewhere or? There's three of them. Oh, we okay. have um, one by the office. We have one by the storeroom, and one by the. Um, oh, they're not all next. between the two. They're not all. Oh, okay, so they're all three in a row. No, there's like one separate in the back that oh. has like the plugs and the and the lights and Which one would be the most devastating to shut down? Um Well, that I don't know. I mean, we have the cash register which is 29. Um, oh, that sounds hilarious. 29? Well, it's the number 29. Oh, I see. Okay, um, yeah. That's old. <laughs> how old what's her face was at the last store? Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, um, just reminiscing. Um, yeah, so let's just start with whatever one is 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 um, nearest, and then it'll. So I'm not sure which ones. Which ones? Well, uh, is there a main switch up on top? Um, I don't think so. Oh, okay. We'll just have to do them. Have to flip all the switches. You know how the switches okay. are numbered? Like each one has a number next to it. Yeah. Uh, could you say the number as you flip it loudly? Because it's voice command control and it has like a sensor inside. You just like you know say number one, number two, number three. Okay. It'll help it shut off um, better. Okay, I'll start in the main one and just do one, and then just yell out the number that I'm turning off. Yeah. Could you start with the prettiest switch? The what? Uh, the one up on the top left. Or wherever, it doesn't matter. Wherever you're comfortable with. You can just do it randomly, as long as you yell out the numbers. Well, I'm, like, like I said, I have three different uh, fuse boxes. One is by the storeroom, mm-hmm. and there's only just, like, mostly lights. Ooh, that, I like that one. The, the, the breakers. Um, you know, there's a receiving room computer, so I'm assuming that that one's one you're having a problem with, maybe, but there's no... Well, there's computers in all of them, though. Yeah. We got to make sure. So, like I said, I have three separate fuse boxes and they're not all together. Let's just go crazy. I know. Ma- <laughs> it's maybe, an old building. It's a very, very old building. Do you have something thin that you could, like something that's metal that you could put into the box and just rake it over the electrical wires inside? 
Uh, no. Okay, yeah, we'll just have to do the, do the switches then. Okay, okay, so on your marks, get set, go. One, two. Can you yell it like you're yelling to Jesus? Oh. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, fifteen, two, six, eight, ten, twelve. That was one. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so that now was... I'm going to go to the next fuse box, okay? Okay. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, Try to sound like one. a Seven Eleven employee when you yell out the numbers. Okay, seven. Mm. Eleven. Um, I was just joking. <laughs> I know. Fifteen. <laughs> 16, uh, 2, 4, and 6, 8, 10, 12. That's a really long box. Yes. 14, 16, 18, 19, 20, 24. Uh. Okay, now there's one more box. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, all right. Okay? Yep. Yep. Okay, here yep. we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, one, two, and five. Uh, um, seven. Nine. Eleven. 13, 15, 17, 19, and 20, 21, 23. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, goes, oh my God. there goes the cordless. <laughs> we lost her, everyone. Oh, no. <laughs> You're probably standing there in the dark with no phone. <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> oh, shit. You guys, we had to mute during that entire thing. <laughs> that was, I was going to, I was going to ask her, I was going to ask her, like, I forgot that the cordless phone was going to go out. I didn't even think of that. I can't believe it happened on the third one. I was lucky. Uh, I, I was going to ask her to go to the six switch and do it like three times in a row. Oh <laughs> six, <goodness>. six, six. <laughs> you should call her and tell her Jesus wants to bring her back to the light. <laughs> turn everything back on. Oh, bless her heart. <laughs> oh my gosh. That lady. She was fun. Uh, she was pretty cool. Good times. Are you calling her back? Thank you for calling Family Christian Bookstore in Linwood. This is Tracy. Hello, Tracy. This is God. Hello. I'm calling from heaven and uh, noticed uh, some red lights across the board here. It looks like the power went out for a bit. And I don't know if you realize this, but that third breaker box that's hooked up here to my office, and I don't appreciate it. Um, I was actually called from corporate to do this. Oh, those mother... Okay, all right. (laughs) (sighs) <sighs> okay, well, you know what? We're it, almost done. Okay, all right. I just, it's like, you know, my lights are out up here, and I, I can't answer any prayers. And it's, uh, it's just, sorry. It, it's okay, it's all right. Just, just, just remember that third box that's connected to heaven, to my, okay. o- directly to well, my you office. you just having me go through every single one of them <sighs> and yelling out the number. So apparently there's something wrong that they had to reset their system. It wasn't Chad, right? It wasn't Chad. Uh, I don't know who the guy's name okay, was. Okay, all right. As long as we, he, he was he, from corporate. Always so. a problem with him. Okay. Well, anyway, I gotta go get back to you know saving people and smiting. I got lots of smiting to do still on my shift. 
Yay. Yep, got to get that smiting done, but I can't really smite here with no power. God damn it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's okay, it's all right. <laughs> it's not your fault. You're just following orders. Okay. Okay. Uh, God out. God away. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I accidentally did two exits. <laughs> got out. Got away. I-, I love how she talked to you. Like, like she like, was like totally normal. I, yeah, like corporate called me. You know, there, maybe there's something we don't understand. Maybe God calls there all the time. It's normal. Like, just for her. <laughs> <laughs> and she laughed when you said "God damn it" too. <laughs> I know she was amazing. <laughs> Holy shit! You know what? I need a break after all that. Yeah, my, and, I've, my mouth is dry, or you know, I need something to drink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. Um, I, I mean, we'll we'll be back in just a in, yeah. in a bit, you guys. A bit. Yeah, a bit. Yeah. Hey guys, pre-recorded Brad here, and uh, we're gonna take a quick break from this live show, and we're gonna listen to a few voicemails because what would a snowplow show be without the voicemails? Don't stop listening to the show yet because there is still a part three left to this episode. And I'm going to play it right after these voicemails. It looks like it's about 44 minutes long. If you hate the voicemails, you know, just skip ahead 10 minutes, maybe 15, sometimes 30. And you can get right back into the live show. But first, here's a shitload of voicemails. Hey, Brad. It's Chaz. I'm telling you, I can't listen to your podcast on the subway anymore. Yesterday's show had me bursting out laughing and people give me the funniest looks. When people uh, are answering people. the phone, family carrot top. I just <laughs> lost it. Yeah. Awesome show. Don't listen to the naysayers. Keep doing what you're doing. Cactus, Aww. cactus. Thanks, Chaz. That's pretty great that I'm making people on the subway think that you're a crazy person. <laughs> hey, fucker, it's Fag TV. My scheme worked. Yep. Ever since I called people out on the voicemail, it sure did. revenue has doubled. My YouTube videos have been getting so many more views, and I've made almost ten times the amount of money that I have been. You guys are you guys are idiots, you listeners. You 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 fell for it. No, I just said my revenue was doubled ten times more, wow. so it worked. All right, let's doubled see it now. ten uh, times. Anyone anyone who tells jokes on the voicemail, just fuck off. Nobody gives a shit about you. Oh come on, all these jokes. Stop saying. Uh, Jack doesn't jokes. know what he's talking about. So my YouTube channel is Jag TV Network. Yeah, thanks for the money. No problem, Jag TV. Glad I could help. As agreed up on before, I want 32% of the 10 times doubling that your YouTube channel has gotten. 30% of the profits. Thanks, Jag TV. Fred, hey. Uh, hey. I had an idea about, okay, this could maybe pertain only to hobo sodes, but it could just, you know, there's a lot of hobo signs on the road. Hobo exterminators, hobo lawn service, Is whatever. Is there? You could, and those people are probably really irritable <clears throat> enough. Maybe get a call log or people sending mem- numbers from uh, hobo services all over the country. Are you talking about companies that are actually named hobo something? Because I've never seen that. Maybe that's just wherever you live. And uh, so you could call hobo exterminator, for example, and maybe you would fail at this, but you could use scientific names for the uh, roaches and things like that that you're uh, hoping yeah. them to then you experiment, it's like bad bugs, you use a scientific name or whatever. Yeah, the scientific or name. Or come up with a better idea. But uh, hobo signs and... Because uh, I know those. Nodes, or put them up on uh, just your regular uh, fucking snowplow thing. But Maybe, yeah, uh, for the regular if people. If you use the hobo signs idea, let me know, because I'm a hobo myself and I don't pay for the Patreon shit yet, so, or uh, whatever. But yeah. Okay. So keep it coming. Later. I'm still a little unclear about what you're talking about. Are you talking about people that have the really shitty looking signs where they're just hand painted they look like jed clampett made them maybe that's what you mean brad will you play a three second voicemail no no never don't ever try that hi brad it's cora i'm just calling to tell you i currently have nothing to say to you all right bye all right thank you Kuraz, for that it looks like he's called in about uh 63 other times to also tell me he doesn't have anything to tell me what a convenient service. Thank you, Kuraz, for that. Oh, wait, and, and how did you pronounce your name? Let's let's find out. Hi, Brad. It's Kuraz. Oh, it's Koraz. It's not Kuraz or Kuraz. It's Koraz. It's Kuraz. Damn it. I'm, so calling- I, I'm still unsure. I think he said Koraz. 
From now on, his name is Coraz. This is great. Thanks for this one. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys how uh, Google Voice translated this one, transcribed, whatever that word is. You know, when you leave a Google Voice message, it, it transcribes what you're saying and it puts it here in the voicemail box so I can read it. And that one we just got, it says, Doobie Doobie Doo, debited with a Dewey Dewey Do. We just need to go to the dealer, but I prefer that. Oh, but I do prefer that. We did with the temperate attempt, addictive, addictive, attempt, attempt, attempt. To who do you voodoo voodoo would avenue attempt, 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 attempt to continue to open a new window would do. So I probably would have just deleted that voicemail, but the transcription part of it kind of amused me. Here, let's see if I can say it with him while I play it again. Doobie doobie doo, 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 doo debited with a doobie doo, 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 doo. We just need to go to the dealer, but I prefer that. We did with the temperate attempt. Addictive, addictive, attempt, attempt, attempt. Do you do voodoo doo, 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 doo. I don't think this is working. <laughs> All right, I tried. Thanks, whoever you are, for leaving that message. It almost worked. Holy shit, here's another one, and I'm going to read this one, too. It's, it's, uh, I'll play him in the background, but the transcription on this one is even weirder. It says, doobie doobie, doobie doobie, okay. Into, into it with you would have been two men to pick you up, addictive, addictive, addictive. Newman to continue, two, 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 Pawtucket, open to Virginia, to Jiffy Lube. In Newport, in Virginia, potential. With a dupe and enter windows. Do with the window when you pick up in 22 to two minute interview. With Peter, look stupid to Jupiter. Jupiter, Jupiter, Jupiter. That was crazy. My mind is blown, but I'll probably never play one of those voicemails again. So cut it the fuck out, whoever you are. It's Crimson. Oh, but hey, Crimson. A lot of things. You know, I don't know why, but the beginning of your voicemail got cut off. It just said it's Crimson. Weird how that happened. Voicemail. So, uh, responding to Corbin Guy, I started the Hey Brad fact, which. Can't you guys I just email each other? Wouldn't that be easier? mentioned in my previous voicemail, but you couldn't hear it because Brad talked over it. <sighs> uh, speaking dick. of Corbin Guy, if anybody wants an Easter egg in old Snowplow show episodes in two separate episodes, in the voicemails, Corbin Guy reveals his first, then last name. Oh, shit. The first name in one episode, then his last name in another. You're, you're in trouble, Corbin Guy. So it took place in the years 2014. Nobody will ever figure out what Corbin Guy's name is. Later, uh, if Corbin Guy wants to get back at me for my Hey Brad thing, he can respond by revealing his full name in the voicemail. Yep. Uh, I'm Shit. a little late, but I wanted to highlight in the trouble. episode Eminent now, Domain as one of Corbin my guy. favorite episodes of recent time, and thank you for making so many shows recently. And finally, I want to encourage Anytime. everyone listening who hasn't called into the voicemails to just pick up a phone and call. No. And then, <laughs> it's, the vo- uh, really, it's okay. The Facebook group. Uh, this show is even more fun when you get to participate in it, plus it's so easy. Yep. Facebook group, lots of fun. You can see Adam Corbin posting them there all the time. Oh, shit, crap, I just doxxed someone. Sorry, Adam. Hello, Brad. Hello. It's Corbin Guy. Oh, hey, Corbin Guy. Calling you Speaking of Corbin, I mean, hey, Corbin Guy. Compliments. Compliments, seriously. Uh, hang up the phone, that was a great episode. I have not Why, belly you. laughed in a long time, and you really tickled that nerve good. Yay. So uh, there was some Ooh. sort of momentum, some sort of magic happening there. I like the way that uh, you offered up uh, Roy Sipian's uh, information about the show, you know, the uh, credits and the how-tos and the who's-its and the what's-its and the fucking sponsors and shit. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you're okay. doing something right. For Thanks once. In my book. All right. Bye. Bye, Corbin Guy. We might want to change your name back to Oregon Guy. I think people are figuring out your, your docs, and we don't want that. Therapy. Hey. Mr. Potato Head. Hey. Potato. That's, that's my Irishman's accent. All right. Like it. It's perfect. Anyway, it's better than I could uh, do. All this work in hematology mm-hmm. is making me like really science and math oriented. Yup. And, and, I, and I was listening to your hang-up phone episode. I noticed, I, I, I did a unofficial, quick, statistical analysis of the successes you were having. It mm-hmm. seemed like one out of three calls, of, of the people that answered, one out of three uh, were willing to well, fight you. About not here's the thing, though. 
and I'm probably going to mess up all of your scientific data and research, but I mentioned this in the show, and I probably, I, I took out a lot of the hang up the phone calls that didn't work out, the ones that just hung up, because they were so uninteresting. There, there was a lot of them that I took out, like, I don't know, at least 10, probably, that I took out of that episode, so, that so sorry. Fun. So, why don't you just call sorry. every third number? Oh. And that way you'll have like, a closer what to 100 great idea. rate with getting into arguments with I people that hang up. I didn't think of that. Which is what we all want. We want to hear those arguments. That, that, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. I should try thanks. I should try that with normal prank calls. Like on this episode it seems like every few people just put us on hold or hang up on us or whatever. If only I had your scientific hematology data then I would know when to make the calls or you know how many numbers to skip in between. So if you could figure that out that would be really great. Hey Brad, I think I know what you do for your day job. Uh. I think you're in the private investigation field. Um I'm not going to say the company name but it starts with Telly. Anyway, yeah, bye. Nope. You're sort of right, sort of wrong, mostly wrong. Wait, no, I don't know. But yeah, for the past 20 years, you guys, I've been doing private investigative work. And this is a job that began because of phonelosers.org, actually. It was the very first year that I set it up. I mean, the second year that I was doing website stuff, the first year was 1996. The, the year that I actually got phonelosers.org registered, and that was a big deal in 1997. I set up a certain page on phonelosers.org. It was, at the time, it was phonelosers.org slash pi.html, or wait, no, .htm. It later upgraded to HTML, and then it later upgraded to .php, and then it turned into WordPress. It just didn't have an extension anymore. And it still exists. It's phonelosers.org slash PI. It's kind of a pointless page nowadays, and I haven't updated it in forever. But because of that page, a bunch of private investigators kept emailing me and saying, hey, can you add me to your page? Can you add me to your page? Because there wasn't a lot of that on the internet at the time. And they would do web searches and it'd come up with my page and be like, oh, this is a good marketing opportunity. I'm going to email this guy and tell him to add my page to his list of private investigator links. And I started talking to these private investigators. I'm like, well, I noticed on your page there, you do this and this and this. How do you do that? And they would tell me and I'd be like, well, I, I do that kind of stuff just kind of for fun. So maybe you should just hire me to do it. And one guy started doing that and I started making okay money at it. And after a while, I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to work at the factory anymore. I'm just going to do PI shit. I worked at a couple of machine shop factories that year making little metal pieces and stuff. But yeah, the telly thing that you mentioned, that's just something I try to set up and I don't get a lot of business from it. I mostly just work for other people like actual private investigators and I do research type stuff for them. And I did quite a bit of figuring out who owns phone numbers and which addresses certain phone numbers are working at. And originally I was doing it kind of low tech. I was just calling up people and be like, hey, this is the pizza and you just want a free pizza. Would you like a pizza? And they'd be like, "Okay," And I'd ask them for their name and their address. But then I got better at calling up the phone companies and figuring out how to get information from them, you know, directly from the source with social engineering. And next thing you know, I've been doing it for 20 years. I think it's actually going to be 20 years at some point this year, or maybe it's been 20 years already. It's my anniversary for what I've been doing for a living. But I've slowly been uh, kind of phasing out the that kind of work from my daily routine. And mostly that just entails uh, not trying to get new work, you know, because people just kind of disappear after a while. And I've just been letting them disappear, these private investigators that I worked for, instead of begging them for more work or going to look for new work from other private investigators. And, I, you know, the, I was kind of on my way out of that whole thing anyway because it was getting too competitive and it's not as easy to do these days as it used to be. And that was kind of convenient because this whole Patreon thing started happening right around the same time I was thinking that maybe I should get out of this line of work and just this past weekend possibly on saturday the same day that we did this live show or maybe it was sunday maybe it was yesterday i don't remember but i emailed the main guy that i work for right now the one that sends me quite a bit of work and it eats up a lot of my time and that's the reason i don't get a lot of shows done but i emailed him i'm like you know what i'm gonna quit so how much notice do you need i can do another month or two or maybe even three if you really need it but i've been doing this for too long i think i need a change i'm gonna move on and do some new things And that's exciting news for all of us because that means I am eliminating one of the biggest time sucks of my week, which should hopefully mean that I can do more shows. And if not just more shows, it means I can get a lot more stuff done behind the scenes here. You know, maybe I can spend an extra hour a day on my emails or something 
and kind of get caught up on those and just kind of do other random administrative type stuff. This is exciting stuff, you guys, and you guys should start expecting to have more shows or more something at least because I should definitely have more time or, you know, not right away, actually, now that I think about it, because I did tell the guy I, I would give him a month or two or three if he needed it, but definitely by the summer, hopefully sooner. I should be able to put out more shows. Maybe I could start out with two hobo sods a week or something like that. But you guys should definitely yell at me if I'm not doing more shows in a couple months and definitely keep supporting the show because now I have less to fall back on. And you know, like if this whole thing fails, I can always try and get back into that field again. It shouldn't be that hard. But right now, things are looking pretty good for the Snowplow show, so try to be excited about that, everyone. And congratulations, person who called me out on it. You're actually not the first person to figure it out. I've gotten emails about this quite a few times because it's not exactly a big secret. I used to talk about it more openly, and people have emailed me about it in the past and asked me questions about it that I've usually dodged or sometimes given a vague answer to. But woohoo, everyone! More Snowplow show, hopefully. If all goes well. Hey there, Brad. Uh, this is user fan with a PH. Ooh. I figured um, since I, you know, contributed something to the show that I earned the oh, privilege, did you? not not the right, but the privilege to remember. call into the show. Um, yeah, you, you you know as well as I do that um, humans have no rights in this new world, a new robot economy. Yeah, that's true. Um, anyways, um, I'm listening to some some backlog shows from the torrent, and um, it's the 420 show from whatever year it is, and you just asked the lady if she has ever fixed her cat. So I just wanted to remind you of that and I thought that was fucking awesome. Okay, Aww. bye. But wait, what did I what did I say? I didn't hear I didn't under, I didn't understand what you hey said. There, Brad, uh, this is you just asked the lady if she has ever fisted her cat. Oh. So I just wanted to remind you of that, and I thought that was fucking awesome. Yeah, okay, that's great. Bye. I asked a lady if she fisted her cat. That's just great. Thank you for reminding me of that one. Hey, Brad, it's Miko. What the fuck? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, it's okay. Red Beard. Jesus. Hey, I know you hate it when a... Uh, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Hey, Brad. Oh, hey, come I'm on. Serve it up like that. Stop um, it. I know you hate when people call in with suggestions, but... I suggest you go fuck yourself because I've got like $80 invested in this show and yeah. I haven't gotten any fucking stickers yet, Brad. Why? I know. Why don't you mail I me know. stickers? I, I love stickers, okay? I've got two things in common with seven-year-olds. That's my love of stickers and the size of my cock. Send me stickers, Brad. <laughs> I'm going to knock you down to $4 a month, Shit. son of a bitch. Cactus. I'm sorry. Look, if anyone wants stickers who is a supporter of the show, and I was telling everyone, I think this voicemail might have actually come in before I talked about this, so we can forgive Redbeard for yelling at me like this. But what I've been working on on the website is uh, I just want to set up a page. Uh, maybe I mentioned this before. I don't know. But I want to set up a page where supporters of the show can just request a sticker every once in a while. You just fill out a form, give me your name and address and say, hey, I want a sticker. And that's maybe one of those things where me not having to work as much every day might come in handy because I'll have more time to put together website stuff like that. I know it sounds like a simple thing and I'm, yeah, it is, but come on, I'm working on a lot of stuff, all right? But anyway, I want to set up a page like that. But in the meantime, if you'd like, just send an email to rbcp at phonelosers.org and say, hey, I've been supporting your shit. Why don't I have a sticker? And give me your address. Don't forget to give me your full address. And I will send you a sticker probably within a couple of weeks. Right now, I'm completely out of stickers. But I've got a small shipment of them coming in soon. So I will be able to send out stickers soon. So if you're a supporter, and only if you're a supporter rbcp at phonelosers.org and I'll send you something as soon as I can. And I do agree that I suck. I haven't sent anything out in like a year now except the people that have requested it from me. And I think that's what I'm going to do from now and I'm just going to let you guys request it from me. You know, just request stuff. Or maybe I'll turn it into a yearly mailing or twice a year mailing. I just couldn't keep up with the every month and then, I don't know, I just kind of let time get away from me. Next thing you know, I haven't mailed anything out in a year. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm such a dick. Roy, hey, John Johnson. Hey. Just got done listening to your show, you know, calling all the Christian bookstores. Yup. Now, I didn't do anything too terribly offensive. So how can you do that, but you won't do something for Black History Month? You know, you could have done something and not been racist about it, you know, you could have had some fun. Like what? So, uh, thanks for making me feel like a racist for sending you a list. Aww. Thanks a lot, jerk. <laughs> 
Just kidding. Get us, get us. Aw, thanks. I thought you were seriously angry there for a second. Or maybe you are. But here's the problem with me doing Black History Month calls. And that is it. Like, what do I do besides be racist? And it figures that this would come in on the one show where I'm uh, attacking Christians, basically. Because how can I really justify attacking one group if I'm not going to attack another? But several people, they sent me numbers for Black History Month, but every single one of the suggestions was racist. And I just don't want to do it. I don't know why I have a problem with being racist. It's not like it offends me or anything. But for some reason, it's just more fun for me to make a a hapless Christian be like, I can't believe you said that. Instead of me, uh, you know, just saying horrible racist things to black people, which just seems like it turns into a bunch of terrible, hateful stuff. And I don't know. It's just that the, the submissions that were sent to me, they were just mean. It wasn't funny. It was mean. And I don't know if I'm talking about your submission, because maybe I missed yours and I just saw other people's. And I think I just have messed up values because I don't have a problem messing with Christians a little bit. I'll say shitty things about religion, but for some reason I just don't want to say a bunch of shitty things about people's race. And maybe we can figure out a way to make this work next year because it could be fun. I mean, not saying shitty things, but, you know, just being wacky and and making a big joke out of it. I think that could work, maybe. Hello, Brad. It's you, Jazz. Hello. I think you should record more videos of your cat because I think she's really cute and you should... Perfect. for me and give her lots of treats for being a good kitty i do and make sure she don't, doesn't die on the roof don't worry about that and i think that would be really nice you know okay. i think she could be the new mascot of poa hell yeah the cactus. yep fuck, ca- care, fuck cactuses it's all about cats from now on there's plenty of them on my personal youtube at youtube.com slash rbcp the most recent one shows me trying to make her fall off the roof good times and what the hell am i doing doing this long of a voicemail segment i need to, to wrap this up So I'll play the rest of these next time. I don't think I'm going to do an outro of the show. So this is the end of pre-recorded me and it's back into the live stuff. So enjoy the remaining 45 minutes or so of today's live show. Or I mean Saturday's live show, not today's. This is the PLA radio show coming straight out of Roy, New Mexico. So don't touch that dial and don't touch that tone. We'll call you up on your telephone We'll call you up and pose as your phone company Inquire about 900 numbers that cost a lot of money And when you're frustrated and you don't know what to say We'll inquire politely, does your wife know you're gay? Yeah, you better pick up or we'll hack your voicemail Tell people to fuck off and go to hell Yeah, with RBCP and the rest of the gang Calls can get crazy and downright insane When we visit your Facebook, you'll always get five stars We love your character song trays and your glory Holes on large and well padded. Yeah, we'll give it away. That it's a prank call. We don't give a fuck, not a fuck at all. Yeah, we'll give it away. That it's a prank call. We don't give a fuck, not a fuck at all. We'll hack your brain, make you insane by the time that we're through. You'll be scratching your head, what the fuck did I just do? So lock the doors, flip off the breakers, get on the floor. I've got some blue Gatorade for you to pour. I'd like to bid five million dollars on the cactus. Go ahead, hang up on me, there's plenty more of us. We can mob your radio station all damn day. Who the fuck bids on the radio when we've got eBay? Yeah, we'll give it away that it's a prank call. We don't give a fuck, not a fuck at all. Yeah, we'll give it away that it's a prank call. We don't give a fuck, not a fuck at all. 
God help you if you answer our Craigslist dad. You're so easy to fool that it's really kind of sad And we can't be held responsible if we make you mad Can you believe our parents said this was just a fad? Yo, yeah, crazy awesome hackers and we're very self-reliant you ask us why we do this, we say that it's for science. So don't call the cops, don't even bother to sue. At 12 o'clock at midnight, fuck you. Every Monday brings a tear to my eye. Why did Mildred Monday have to? go and die Her sons were so beautiful and so kind We should call them back just one more time Yeah, we'll give it away that it's a prank call We don't give a fuck Fuck it all Yeah, we'll give it away That it's a prank call We don't give a fuck Not a fuck at all This is the PLA Radio Show Coming straight out of Roy, New Mexico So don't touch that dial And don't touch that tone We'll call you up on your telephone Okay, so uh, I don't know. What do you want to do? Like a few more calls? Yeah, and we should wrap do some more customer surveys. I, I feel like I haven't been offensive enough. Yeah, what the hell? I don't I, know. I've been very disappointed I in know, your me level too. of, of, of offensiveness. Losing my touch. I'm really good at offending people in person. Yeah, I get offended by you all the time. <laughs> right, do you want to do a survey? You want me to get a, like a survey customer on? And yeah, or I can. Either way, I don't care. Well, fine. You do it. Then. Fine, you do it. I'll do it. I love when you give me permission. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Cactus Milk wants some hang up the call, uh, hang up the phone calls. Can I do one of those real quick? Oh yeah, totally. Okay. Do it in the name of Jesus, though. Yeah, in the name of Jesus, hang up that phone. That's right. Family Christian Lansing. This is Anna. Hey, Anna. This is Steve Dave from the corporate office with Family Christian. Yes. And you just hang up that phone. Hang it up. Anna. Yes. I noticed you haven't hung up the phone yet. Whatever. Just hang up. <laughs> <laughs> I like Anna. She's awesome. That was all your fault, Cactus Milk. Yeah. Whatever. That was awesome. She's just tired of everyone's <laughs> shit today. Did you hear when she answered that phone anyways? She's tired. Yeah, yeah. She's so happy, the customers. So may I help you? Hi, is this Family Christian? Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't hear you say that. This is Steve Dave from the corporate office with Family Christian. Hi. Hi. I just needed you to hang up the phone. Oh, you want me to hang up the phone? Yeah, hang it up. What What did I stutter? Ugh. You, you hang up that phone right now. You ratchet hoe. Hello? Ma'am? 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 I, I can hear you breathing, lady. You're a very loud breather. You hang that phone right the hell up. I think she set it down. I don't know. She doesn't know how to hang up. In the name of Jesus, I command you to hang up that phone now. You ratchet hoe. I rebuke the spirit of rebellion right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Ma'am, are you there? Hang She's going to rebuke. You don't want that. Okay, fuck it. Let's just get a customer on the line. <laughs> I hate it when they don't play it. She long. thwarted my, my hang up the phone God challenge. God intervenes. Yeah. Fucking God. Stop. <laughs> I cannot stand that close to you when you talk like that. I'm sorry. Your mouth is ugly <laughs> right now. Thanks for calling Family Christian Mysteries. This is Hallie. Help me help you. Hey, Hallie. This is Steve Day from the corporate office of Family Christian. Hi. Hi. I'm just calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer there I could speak with? Just do a quick survey with them. 
Give me a minute. Let me ask. Okay. No, don't ask. You tell him. You tell him like oh. it's survey time. Okay. Like be all, you know, stern. Be very stern. Okay. Aim your head head down a little bit and look up at them from looking down, you know, like they do in the movies. <laughs> okay. Say, hey, <laughs> it's survey time. Just throw the phone out. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> she hang up on me. I don't know. Whoa, this is a cool part of the, of, of the fish that saved the planet. Or... Why does everyone keep putting you on hold? I don't know. That, that's... Hello? Hello? This is Maggie with um, Corporate. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hold on. Hello? Hi, is this a customer? Can you hear me? Is this a customer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, my name's Tina. Okay, I'm going to put Maggie on for the survey. Here we go. Roy, okay. away! <laughs> um, Hi. It, it, did you hey. say your name's Tina, sweetheart? That's right. Oh, blessed day to you. How are you doing today? I'm good. How oh, are you? Fine, thank you. Amen. Amen. Hey, <laughs> um, you know we're going out of business, right? I know it, yeah. Oh, did you pray for us by chance? Like that. Huh? Did you pray for our company by chance, or? Well, I sure will. No, have you? Because I, I, I kind of feel like you know, you know we're going out of business because people mean, was, didn't pray hard enough for us. You're going out of business. What did you say? What was the last thing? Because customers didn't shop enough and they didn't pray oh. enough for us. They just didn't give us their. Yeah. Money. You know, tell evangelists Joel Steen, uh-huh. that bastard gets so much money in donations every month, and we can't get people in here to buy a five dollar Bible. I don't understand it. Uh, I don't either. God, he is such well, a... Well, I haven't been here in a while just because I just can't get over here, you mm. know, but today I was like, I'm going. Oh, how yeah, come you I can't get over here? here? I don't want to know. Huh? Never mind. Anyways, I got a question for you. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> well, you already said you didn't pray for us and you didn't really spend a whole lot of money, so we kind of know where that yep, makes you stand. Yeah, yeah. All right. So sorry about that. No, yeah. it's okay. I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions, though, that I typically ask my more heartless customers. If you had, a, if you took a kitten, a puppy, or baby Jesus, which one would you have to, which one would you kick? If you had to kick one? Mm hmm. A kitten, a puppy, or baby Jesus? Uh, none of them. Oh, you have Nobody. to pick one. <laughs> what did the Lord say about being lukewarm? He'll spew you out of his mouth. You've got to pick one. You can't ride the fence on this one, Tina. Well, I'm just not going to kick anything. Well, I guess it has to be a cat. Oh, yeah, I'm I with you. High five on that, sister. Amen. <laughs> I hate cats. Cats are just, they're disgusting. Well, I, I don't hate them, but okay. anyway. Who would win in a fight? Chuck Norris or Jesus? Jesus. Mm, why do you say that? Have you seen Chuck Norris, girl? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It'd be Jesus. You think Jesus would really kick his ass? He would just win somehow, you know? Mm, somehow? Or? Okay. Yeah, he would do something. He would, he would prevail over Chuck Norris. Yeah, okay. Well, these answers are really anticlimactic. I'm not sure what to think about this anymore. So, Okay, um, well, hold on. Oh, no, no, no. Hello? Hi, we weren't done. Can you hand the phone back to Tina, please? Okay. Uh, uh, she had actually just been called away uh, by who, family. Tina was called away by family? Well, her family. Oh, can yeah. you go get her? I, I mean, because when we were talking, she was saying her family's been abusing her and mistreating her. Can you go get her? I, I don't think so. You can't? Well, she didn't sound like she moves very fast, honey. Can you just, like, jump out there and go get her or what? Just shout Hold down on. there. Just yell at her. Say, honey, get back over here. God's not done with you yet. Yeah, she really has to go. And uh, how, how do you know? Did she tell you? Family okay. They seem okay? Yeah, they're fine. How do you know by looking at them? Yeah. Are you really from family? Uh, Sister, I am family. How do you know by looking at them they're okay? Hold on. I We've just started getting I busy. can't even believe this. I can't believe you're doing this. Go get her. Go get her now. Move. Go. Holy shit, woman, move. <laughs> Aww, 
I'm sorry. You just can't curse with these people, apparently. No. <laughs> That's what the does that mean they look okay? The ultimate sin. I can't believe you said they were abusing her. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what? Elder oh. abuse, it's a thing? She's just gonna... Talk to my mom. She's, she's gonna call up some hotline on them or something now. Oh, no. Well, no, because they look okay. Yeah. Well, and also because you cursed. You can't be trusted if you said a bad word. <sighs> I'm just not offensive enough. Okay, I'm sorry. You wanted to go back and on and ask them what? You were gonna ask Tina what? Oh, I just wanted to be the supervisor, but she she let you go too uh, quick. Thank you for calling Family Christian Westminster. This is Kelly. How can I help you? Hey. hey, Kelly. This is Steve Dave from the corporate office with Family Christian. Oh, hi. Hi. I was just calling to do the the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer there I could speak with and do a quick survey with them? Um, I've got a few. Am I just supposed to pick someone at random? Yep, just random. <laughs> Whichever one looks the nicest. Okay. Because we don't want another incident. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. you know, you know. Yeah. Yep. Well, yep. let's see. You know. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oof. After that whole uh, debacle. Yeah. Yep. In the news. Yeah. The sexual assault. Ugh. Oof. Jesus um, Christ. Um. Fuck. Okay. They're all kind of busy. Let me see if I can. Out. Am, I, am I supposed to just like hand them the phone? Yeah, and just ask them if they want to do a quick thing on the phone, a quick survey with the corporate office. Or, okay. I mean, tell them, tell them, don't ask, just tell them. Oh, okay. Like, you're taking okay. a corporate survey, just shove it in their face. Okay. Okay. Oh, boy. You can, do it. That, but you can do it. You can do it. Come on, let's, <laughs> let's get pumped up. <laughs> oh, man. Um, well, let's see here. Well, now I can't find anybody. Really? <laughs> They're probably hiding behind the counters, hiding. vaping. They, they like to duck behind the counters, behind the shelves, and vape. It's a real problem <laughs> these days. Oh my gosh! See it on the security cameras uh, all the time. Yeah. Oh <laughs> uh, boy. Okay. Um, yep. All right. I guess I'll ask this person here. Hold on, real quick here. Okay. Hi there. Sort of a strange question, but I have someone in the corporate office who wants to know if he can do a customer survey with you. If you want to talk to him real quick for me. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Hi, this is Maggie from corporate office. Did she, did she just say I was a guy? Um, I don't really know. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I'm no, so sorry. My name's Maggie. It just that's, caught me off guard what she was saying. So that's I was really like, embarrassing. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm not even a guy closely. Jeez, yeah. which, a little catty to me. A little bit of a bitch. That's all I'm going to say. God bless her. Okay. okay. Um, I'm just a guest shopping in your store. Oh, what hmm. are you shopping for today? Um, I I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever or okay. Well, I have a couple There's questions. no purpose for my shopping. I'm just here to see if there's anything I want to take home and that's it. Oh, do you have a problem with impulse shopping? No. Oh, okay. That's good, because that's a sin, you know. That would be really bad. I'm just driving by, so... You're <laughs> driving by, or you're... Okay, yeah, I'm really confused, and I'm uninterested now. So, okay, I've got a couple questions for you. What was your name again? My name is Chris, K-R-I-S. Chris, okay. Well, my name's Maggie, and I have a couple questions for you. Okay. Okay. So, if you had a kitten, a puppy, or baby Jesus, which one would you kick? Which, uh, I'm sorry, what? A kitten, a puppy, or baby Jesus. If you had to kick one, which one would you kick? Kick, like K-I-C-K? Yes, Chris, K-R-I-S. I don't really want to talk to this lady. Oh, okay. I'm not communicating with her. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, hello? Hello, uh, hello, hello. I don't know. Why, why didn't she want to talk to me? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, that's weird. That's okay. We'll just get another one. Oh, what's she saying? Look, look, can you put the phone closer to her? I want to hear. It sounds hilarious. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was the opposite of putting the phone closer. I was hoping we can confuse her with the lady mail, lady mail thing. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she calling me a woman? That lady sounded, the one you were talking to just sounded perfect for the whole thing. Like she was, she would have got pissed. Yeah. She just had to, ah, uh, damn her. Damn her. Okay. God damn it. I know. Shit fuck. We're going to pray for her right now. Everyone take a moment of silence for whatever her name was. Chris. Dear Lord. Chris with a K. 
me and everyone in the chat room That's just right. like to ask for uh, I don't know Robo Bobo Shutter Bubble her to be less of a bitch <laughs> the lady on the phone not 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 anyone else <laughs> just the lady on the phone I shouldn't mock times <laughs> of course you should God's gonna like Come on. just smite me hey, I'm a person to split you me help you hey Lithia this is Steve Day from the corporate office with Family Christian how are you pretty good I just called to do the weekly customer survey do you have a customer there I could speak with Sure, hang on just a second. Okay. God, this lady's taking forever. Like forever. What the fuck, lady? Can you hear us? <sighs> Ma'am. Ma'am. My God, she's slow. Ma'am. <laughs> hi. Oh, hi. This is Maggie from Corporate. How are you today? Good. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. What's your name? I thought this was a joke at first. Um, it's Kevin. Kevin, no, this isn't a joke. Oh, good grief. There's really a person on here. What? There's really a person on here. I know. Like, can you believe it? It's weird how phones work. It's just, yeah, it's like the coolest thing ever. So, When did they invent these? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, my God, you're so funny. <laughs> I'm trying to never mind what I am. Anyway, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. So, um, you know, we're going out of business, right? So we're just kind of calling the customers, doing a little bit of a survey. Kevin, are you with me? I'm sad. You're sad? Uh Uh-huh. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Because I'm going to miss your store. Aw. What are you going to miss most about our store? Is that one of the questions? Is this official or unofficial? No, no. This is a little bit of a conversation on the side now. Kevin, what are you going to miss about our store? No, there's no worries. Um, You know, I like to come in and browse and... Occasionally buy a gift or... Who are you buying uh, gifts for? Sometimes I'm buying something for my wife. Oh, you're, you're married, Kevin. I am married and um, my social security number is... I mean... <laughs> How long have you been married? Tw- uh, 22 years. Mm. Uh, 21 years. Praise God. I mean, that's amazing. Some people still believe in it. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that was like the funniest thing. No, it's totally okay. You're so funny, Kevin. So, um, <laughs> I got a question for you. Just a couple questions. But now that I know that you're married, I have a, um, well, yeah, I don't know. What kind of things do you buy for your wife? You know, she's going through something kind of, I'll try to buy like a, sometimes it's an uplifting book. Um, you know, something designed to cheer you up or whatever, or, or give you hope or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes I'll get her a CD or yeah. You'll get her a CD? You said she's going through something? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Does she know that you kind of talk about her stuff with strangers? Or, like, I don't know. What's with that? I didn't just now, did I? You did. Yeah, that's kind of, yeah, that's weird. I feel really awkward right now. This is just awkward now, Kevin. Why? I don't know. Because, I don't know. So... Uh, you know what, Kevin, I'm going to put my supervisor on the phone because I kind of feel like if you're a married man and you're kind of sharing stuff about your marriage, I'd just feel better if you talk to my supervisor, okay? Sure, sure. Okay, thank you. Just hold, please. Hello, this is God. I understand that you like to commit adultery. What the fuck, Kevin? Kevin? Hello? You know, I'm, I'm God. You don't just ignore God. What the fuck? Hello? Hello? Kevin, don't make me smite you. But that's totally not a threat over the phone. Nothing like that. Just, just tee hee. Ha ha! Kevin? What the fuck, Kevin? Why are you talking? You gonna give her your social and you won't even say anything to me? Jesus fucking Christ. That's it. I mean, I think he's talking to someone there. Oh, did we lose him? Every one of their phones, they they do all this crazy hang up stuff. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. Oh. <laughs> that was a very strange it person. It was. Yeah, he was being all like, hello. You'd think he would have loved the, the whole thing I did because he seemed like such a, a weird 
Personal. Yeah, and he's got a chick on the phone. All he's a little jokes. shady. His <laughs> wife's going through stuff, starting to tell me his personal shit. He, he's like, as soon as I no. said adultery, he's like, oh shit, they know. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I know, and I was going to ask him if he had to jack off between Madonna Cher or George Michaels. <laughs> Who would he masturbate uh, to? We'll, we'll get that this next time. It'll be okay. <laughs> I bet his wife's going through something. Sell him a Poor Jesus lady. condom. You can't see it, but no matter how bad, you're protected forever. <laughs> Wait, what? You are, That's you are protected. You can't say who suggested that. No, no. <laughs> of course not. We don't know his name. That guy. Thank you for calling Family Christian. This is Rob. How may I help you? Hi, this is Steve Day from the corporate office with Family Christian. Hi. And hi, I'm just calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer there I could speak with? Do a quick survey with them about things. Cust- any customer? Yeah, just any customer. Like, whichever one that you'd most enjoy talking to. Like, you know, it's a cute girl. Why not? Just say, hey, they give you an icebreaker. Um, okay. But, but whatever, you know. There's not really many people in here. It's raining here, so it's not oh, like... yeah, me- I see. If you pick a guy, it's it's fine. You're not gay. It's just whatever. You know, it's, no, no, I know, I know. Either way is fine. Okay, let me ask. I've noticed that the people we talk to, they don't seem to question the strange stories, No, you might say. <laughs> it's as if they're used to a ton of bullshit <laughs> or something. <laughs> I hope he's not listening. Ah. <laughs> uh, What's happening? I don't know. Something about your voice just says, I'm going to put him on hold. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the hold voice. That's <laughs> what they tell me. We should just come back tomorrow and do more of these. Hello? 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 Hi. Hi, Maggie. How are you? Or, I'm sorry. I'm Maggie. What's your name? Gigi. I'm sorry, Gigi. I'm just a little fucked up in the head today, you know. Saturday. Anyways, um, I'm from corporate, and I'm kind to talk to people just to ask them about their experience in our stores, because, you know, we're closing down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How do you like our stores? I'm sad that you're closing. I really like this place. Oh, did you pray for us at all? Or? Yes, I did. You did? Did you spend a ton of money at our stores to help finance us? I... Hello? <gasps> she hung up on me. Wow. <laughs> she didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pray for you, but you don't get my money. <laughs> <laughs> no, totally not a scammer. She's not part of the problem. She is the problem. That's right. <sighs> okay. Should we try one more? Two, Two more. more? Three more. I don't know. Hey, yeah. it's, it's like we're at 2.48 now. About two hours and 48 minutes. We should, we should do 12 more minutes. Yeah, let's if do you want. Yeah, that's fine. How's that sound? Hey, Mr. Lawrence, this is Brooke. Hey, Brooke, this is Steve Dave from the corporate office with Family Christian Stores. Yeah. And I have a boner. Um, do you have a customer <laughs> there I could speak um, with? <laughs> is there a customer what? Uh, we're just doing <laughs> the weekly customer survey. Yeah. I'm sorry, you're breaking up. Can no, you I'm not breaking up. I'm cracking up. <laughs> the whole boner comment. I don't know where that came from. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just calling to do the weekly customer survey. Okay. Um, do you have a customer there I could speak to? Yeah, yeah, if you could. Random? Yep. <laughs> okay, how do I approach that? <laughs> oh, just, just, just walk up say, hey, would you mind taking a survey? Okay. Uh, cursing's optional. Would y'all mind taking a survey? I didn't say y'all. Sure. I said... <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yes. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? This is Maggie from Corporate. Who am I speaking with? Uh, Irene. Irene. Oh, Irene, honey. Do you smoke a lot, sweetheart? Or I just have a deep voice. Oh, bless your heart. I understand. So, anyways, um, I'm just calling to talk to people who shopped at our stores because you know we're closing down, right? Yes. Mm. So, um, what are you shopping for today, Irene? Um... My friend does a thing at church for the community, and she's here wink, to pick wink. up. What do you mean, my um, thing? <laughs> items for her prayer station. Uh, she has a prayer station. 
she does. What does that entail? What is that? Sounds like a euphemism. Uh, no, well, she does a community meal, and it's part of her program. And she has a prayer station set up where she offers free stuff to the people as um, items or whatever Holy. they need for um, to help get them through the week. So she feeds homeless and stuff like that. Oh, well, that's really cool. That's very cool. Well, praise God. Amen to that. That's awesome. Because we're supposed to do that, right? That's scriptural. Yes. That's right. All right, Irene. Well, um, and what about you? What do you do? It, that, you're kind of telling me all about your friend, but what do you do? I'm here helping her collect cards for her prayer station because I'm the one who finds stuff when she's looking for it. So she needed me to find five shirts or find a set of shirts that had matching or matching shirts that had um, different sizes. I accomplished that task, and now she has me collecting cards for her prayer station. It kind of sounds like so your friend. I'm a, I'm a it kind of sounds like your friends made you her bitch or something. How come you're not running the prayer station? Uh, I don't go to her church. But you're doing all the work, honey. That that's okay. I don't need recognition. I do, but I do she's it taking it. It sounds like she does it. it sounds like she kind of needs the recognition. But, you know, we're, we'll cut to that. We'll pray for her. What's her name? Valerie. Oh, oh, my God. Every Valerie I've ever known. Total bitch. Just like a Heather. Craziness. Anyways, I got a couple questions for you. If you're ready. I am. Awesome. Okay. So you have a kitten, right? A puppy. No, I have a puppy. I know. Puppies are adorable. But, you know, baby kittens are cute, too. Right? Sure. <laughs> you don't sound convinced, Irene. Or baby <laughs> Jesus. Cats, but, you know, I've only had a love for the one and uh, or for two of them. And, um, you know, they're no longer with me. So the last kitten I had tried to tear up all my, my <laughs> nice clothes for work. So we, we don't have a good standing right now. Who doesn't have a good standing? You or the dogs? Me and the cat kittens. Oh. Well, then Period, this is going to be an easy question for you, Irene. You have a kitten, a puppy, or a baby Jesus on a Triscuit cracker. If you had to kick one, which one would you kick? None of them. Oh, come on. You have to. You can't be lukewarm. The Bible says you cannot be lukewarm. You have to pick an answer. I, I wouldn't kick any li- living being. So, okay, well, let's just pretend the kitten's already the dead. Then. Let's just pretend it's a dead kitten, a puppy, or baby Jesus. Which one would you kick? I'm helping you Wait, here. Kick the dead kitten. Here. There you go. That's right. <laughs> You're killing me. Praise God. Um, Amen. There you go. Why, why do I need to kick them? I, I, I'm not understanding our logic here. Oh, that's okay. No one does. So, um, if you had to murder a puppy or offend Jesus by not going to church, which one would you do? Say the question again. <sighs> if you were to fantasize about Madonna Cher or Miley Cyrus, which one would you fantasize about? Singing Christian music. I, I, apparently, I'm not good at this survey thing because I don't oh, have an answer good. for that one you're either. You're doing good. Oh my God, I'm batting a thousand. No, you're doing good. That's all right. Just hang with me, girl. Madonna, Cher, or Miley Cyrus? Which one would you do or listen to? Singing Christian music. Uh, I would probably say, oh, I like all three of them. Um, I'd go with Cher. Yeah, well, she does kind of have that masculine voice, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Oh, she knows. I get it. Okay, so, who would win a fight, Chuck Norris or Jesus? Oh, I've never seen Jesus in action. Chuck Norris has got a really high standing in my book. Well, since you didn't say Bruce Lee, we'll go with Jesus. Oh, my God. Seriously, girl, you were talking up Chuck Norris over Jesus a little bit. Hasn't he been in action in your life every single because day? Because Jesus is too sweet, and he didn't believe in violence, so I don't <gasps> no. see him winning the fight. You no, know? Irene, remember, I mean, he come overturned. On, he, did, he, did, he did take the cross for us. No, so. Irene, remember in the temple when he got really pissed off, and he's like, those fuckers are want, making money, either, and he tipped he, over those goddamn mad. tables. He, Do you remember? He stuff up. Don't mean he hit Irene, nobody. Irene. If you and I were to tap over a table, if we just went out in public, if you went to that store right now that's selling the gospel and you flipped over a table, would you not, would they not say this bitch has a temper? They, they, they might, yeah. That's right. Jesus had a temper. Come on now, admit it. Admit but he, it. he wasn't a fighter. He was all about love. Uh, love does not tip tables, Irene. Love does not tip tables. Well, his, he had a very strong passion that day 
for the injustice that he found oh, was being you're done so in his you're house. so fucking wrong, Irene. I cannot believe this. You're I love so... the profanity. <laughs> but come on, right? You're fucking wrong. Okay. All right. So, all right. Well, I well, I, I picked Jesus. I just didn't pick him over Bruce. Uh, you know. Oh my God. So you're saying I, that... I, I picked him over Chuck Norris. Doesn't okay. that count? So why would you pick Bruce Lee over Jesus? I, I, Bruce Lee was just he he was an amazing master. Just and and I grew up just loving his oh, work. Oh my so, God! Did you idolize him as a Irene? young girl? You know, he was my big. Woo woo! I don't think anybody. Could what do you mean? Woo woo! <laughs> oh, no, no, Irene. Uh, let's go back to that <laughs> woo woo girl. No, 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 no. You know, go back to that woo woo. What do you mean? You know, he really utilized them. Were you like touching yourself? To- <laughs> God utilized Bruce Lee. High five! That's some awesome shit right there. So, <laughs> so you would pick Bruce Lee could kick Jesus's ass. Yes. Girl, are you saved? Do you have the Holy Spirit in your life? I, I do, every day. I, I live my life in, in, in a world of uh, compassion, and I get criticized for it all the time because people think that I shouldn't be the way that I am. But um, Are you a pushover, I, I Irene? I do my, my best never to judge other people. I try to um, let people do themselves and, you know, meet them <laughs> where they're at. And so, yes, I... <laughs> I, I, I am uh, I am definitely unique. So yes, I'm, don't I'm so ever good, change, good. Irene. No matter how fucking wrong you are about Jesus, do not change. Why would I be wrong about Jesus? Because he was an asshole. He tipped over tables. The hypothetical questions that I don't know. exist. This is not hypothetical. You know he's going to take on Chuck Norris someday. Come on, he tipped over tables. He was not a man of love. You make it sound like he was this nice, happy guy. He was not a nice, happy guy. Well, okay, you're, you're judging him based off of one incident compared one, to his lifetime work. One? One incident? Do you remember uh, the time he bitched the at the disciples for not as, praying as, all night? But didn't he die on a cross? Girl, that doesn't sound like a you would to me. kick a dead kitten, and you're trying to tell me that I'm wrong. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm just trying to make an argument. That's all, because, you know, I'm gifted at that, too. So I can't believe it. So next question. Did you know I that love Jesus... the debating. Go ahead. No, it's cool. Did you know that Jesus was like a convicted felon? He was a convicted felon. Did you know that? Well, that's if you want to believe the laws of man. Sure. What about Paul? He went to prison in Greece. Did you know that? Again, if you're following man's law, absolutely. Con. Do you have a thing for prisoners, Irene? I'm sorry. Do I have a what? A thing for prisoners? Like, do you pen pal prisoners? Uh, no, I don't have any contact with prisoners. Oh, well, you follow their word in the Bible. I do. You do. Paul was a prisoner. He went to prison. Okay. And and you follow the word of God. Do you not follow the teachings of Paul, Irene? Kitten kicker? Dead kitten kicker? <laughs> kitten kicker. I love this shit. Okay. Um, <gasps> <laughs> um, anyway. Um, we got music. <laughs> I did not hear anything, Irene. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, somebody has music. Maybe it's the guy who keeps interjecting every now and then. There is no guy here. Fuck you, Irene. Ah. Uh, Bitch. Stop it. I don't know who that is. Uh, okay, so are, are, are we good on the survey or do you Smoke need anything weed else? Every day. I don't know. Do you have any questions for me, Irene? No, I'm completely lost at the whole point of this conversation. So Me too. You <laughs> no lost me I, like a long I don't need to add to confusion. I'm good. I, I walk away from confusion. Bruce Lee over Jesus. You just go home and sleep with that tonight. Oh, While you're I will. reading, I'm sure to bring me great, great drinks. When you're reading the Bible, that's full of nothing but ways ex cons are telling us how to live. That's awesome. All right. Well, I hope you have a great night and good luck with your oh. your um, surveys. God bless you, honey. Have a blessed day. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. God bless you. Bye bye. Bye, Irene. That was completely oxymoron. <laughs> <laughs> she said that was completely oxymoron. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Wait. I feel like I could argue with her more. I couldn't offend her because she was so... Yeah, she was kind of cool. Yeah, she was. I kind (laughs) of liked her a lot. I want to hang out with her. I I would too. I don't want her to change. I liked her a lot. 
And you know what? I can offend women pretty well. I don't know if the, the stream is going to kick us off in four, three, two, one. You're, you're counting wrong. Fraud, right. oh, wh- whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Five, I, four. Okay. Three, I guess, I guess it doesn't. Two, I, I think I'm allowed to one, broadcast like 12 two. hours a day. Oh, never mind. We had a countdown for nothing. Oh no, your countdowns, um, it's behind mine. See, my countdowns there and yours is... Oh yeah. We have different countdowns. Why? I don't know. But I don't know. I, I think um, maybe like uh, we should wrap it up maybe yep. a little bit. Let me let me call up... I, I feel like I'm, I'm, I should do one more thing. I, I want to do like number two pencils idea again, but... Yeah, I like that I, one. I can't do that again. Like it, It's not going to work again. It was perfect before. Know. Family Christian North Page, am I speaking? Hi, this is Steve Dave from the corporate office with Family Christian Stores. Mm-hmm. And I'm just calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer there I could speak with? Can you read that? I'm sorry. Uh, we're, I'm just doing the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer in there I could speak with and do a quick survey with them? Uh, just, sure. Uh, okay. Let me grab one. Okay. Hello, sir. Sir. Are you able to do a survey for like our store by um oh, I'm sorry. How does this work exactly? Oh they just do a quick survey, it just take a minute. Okay. Just ask them if they're able to Just okay. tell them. Tell them, hey, survey time. Okay. Uh, we're doing a survey Mother for effort. We, uh, with about uh, like family Christian how we're doing. Are you able to do the phone call for us? Sure. Hello? Hello, this is Steve Dave from the corporate office with Family Christian Stores. Uh-huh. And I'm, I, I just want to do a quick survey, just ask you a couple questions, if you don't mind. Just take a minute. Okay. Okay, question number one. What's the worst sin you've ever committed? The worst sin I've ever committed? Yep. Uh, I can't think of any one. Oh, you know what? We had this old um, fence mm-hmm. uh, in back. My dad told me not to climb it. Yep. And I would climb it anyway to get, like, my basketball and stuff like oh, that. So. Geez. Not obeying my dad would be probably the worst thing that I've probably done. Oh, so I'm sorry. Were you finished? Okay. Um, yeah. do, do you don't have anything better than that? Um, of like, course, I've, 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 I have lied. Oh, what'd you lie um, about? Um, like things I bought, money, stuff like that. Especially when it came to my wife, which I'm very much ashamed of. Oh yeah, yeah. So. Hmm. All right, it's a little bit better. But do, do you, have you ever like raped anyone? Maybe uh, killed a man that didn't deserve it. <laughs> what the hell was he talking about? His the, wife the first or? one. I don't know where that. I thought he said he did his dad for a no, second. No, no, no. Like the first one. I don't think you were listening on that part. He, he just he started telling some lame story about how he lied. Like his ball went over the fence and he would go get it even though his dad told him not to. That was his big sin of his life was going to get the ball over the fence. But that was a bigger sin than doing but, something against his wife that he's ashamed of. I didn't understand what he said about the wife. That was. God, maybe he threw his ball that, at the wife. That was just weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Brown magic. How old was he when he had his first homosexual experience? I feel like I could just like do a show this coming week where I just um, call people and get them to confess their sins all day, like this nothing else but but confessing sins. I always feel but, bad when they give me a backstory. I get all compassionate and I feel sad, mm-hmm. and I just then I get too emotionally involved. Yep. I gotta not do that. Yeah, yeah. Stop, stop having emotions and stuff. Yeah, emotions I know. Are, emotions are for gays. <laughs> I think, I mean, there's so many of these left. I, I've got to do another you family do. Christian show. Get a confession. This isn't like Family radio. Christian, Juliet, how may I help you? Hey, Juliet, this is Steve Dave from the corporate office with Family Christian. Hello. Hello. Um, did they tell you, did you get the memo yet about our grand master plan? Um, no, like, not that I know of. You know why we're going out of business, right? Um, I heard it was because we went non-profit, so they couldn't make ends meet anymore. Oh, no, that's a load of bullshit, no. Actually, what we're oh. doing is, like, all the stuff in the stores, it's been carefully sel- selected, and um, it's hard to explain. What we're basically doing is we're taking all of the, the stuff out of the stores, all the building materials from every store nationwide across the country, and we're using it all to build a giant arc. Amen. 
Oh. And um, the ARC is going to be located in the middle of America, the exact center of the country, which is Arizona. Mm-hmm. And we're going to build an ARC there. And it's gonna, we're going to get two of every animal. And that, that's pretty much it. That's the master plan. And uh, you are welcome. Uh, you're an employee with us. So you're welcome to, to a spot on the ark. You're not going to die in the apocalypse. Hello? Hello. Um, um what? Uh, you said, you, uh, what did you say your name was again? Uh, Steve Dave from the corporate office with Family Christian. Something about we're taking everything from the inside of the store. We're okay. Arizona. I, I don't understand. Uh, we're actually pretty busy, um, so we aren't unable to talk on the phone right oh, now. Well, no, I'm, I'm from the corporate office. It's okay. I can put my supervisor on if you'd prefer. Uh, well, sir, like I said, we're uh, busy right okay, now. Okay, look, you don't have to be a bitch about it. I, I'm just... Hello? To- Hello? I'm sorry. This is Steve Dave's supervisor. I'm sorry. Ever since we decided to go out of business, he's been just a little bit out of control. Are you there? Hello? No, we lost her. Oh, no. Darn it. <laughs> I really want to ask about a crucifix, though. I want to do a crucifix reenactment in my backyard. Yeah, yeah, let's let's do that and then that. get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I want pizza. I'm so hungry. Yeah, let's have shitloads of pizza. My mouth is dry and I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Just from all the talking on the microphone. Yeah, yeah. We need to get out of it. It's been over three hours. Oh, my God. Quick, quick ask him about Bro. the crucifix. Fine. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Damn crucifix. This one's not going to pick up. Pick up the phone. We need to pray about it. Lord, I pray they pick up the phone right now in your name. Lord God, the power of Jesus. Pick it up. Thank you for calling Family Christian. This is Anthony speaking. Thank you, Father God. I was just praying you would answer the phone. Anthony, how are you? I'm doing good. Yay. Hey, Anthony. My name is Christina, and I'm calling to see... Now, y- when are y'all closing, first of all? Our last day is uh, Wednesday. The mm. Wednesday. Do you have a ton of Easter stuff on the shelf already? N- no. No? I don't think we have almost any Easter stuff. Oh, no. Well, I'm looking for... What, what, do, you, what do you mean by Easter stuff? Uh, you know... I don't know shit that people get for Easter. I'm I'm looking specifically for a crucifix a, that would fit the size of like a, a man about the size of, about six foot two or so. Like, like to wear on as a necklace. No, I. I <laughs> that's one hell of a fucking big necklace. I'm not shopping for Flava Flav here, son. I'm trying to buy something to put my grandfather on because we decided that we were going to do a reenactment of the crucifix, of the crucifixion on Easter. And he's terminally ill, so we were just going to crucify him because that's what he wants. That's how he wants to die. And we're going to do this in the Uh backyard. So do you have, like, a crucifix? He's about six foot two? No. You wouldn't have anything like that? No, that's insanely large. Um, Well, I I imagine the one Jesus was put on. I don't know, because men in that region are pretty small, right? Yeah, that's you won't be able to find that in the store. That's yeah. really large. Like, oh my god! Wait a minute. Are you calling my grandfather fat? Or are you just calling him a no. big man? I'm not sure where you're no, going no, with that. The, you're the just cross gonna... itself will be really large because it has to. It would have to support the weight of a six foot two. Oh no! We're just going to drive it into the ground. Ten foot tall. No, we're not going to. We're going to drive it into the ground and just kind of let him hang there. Until, yeah. yeah. No, no, don't have that. And I don't think you'll find that at any store. Oh. Well, we were, we figured once, you know, he died or whatever, we could just, like, throw some flames on it and light the cross up and burn it or something. Just kind of like an afterglow for the wake. Oh, that would be pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. But you don't have anything like that? No. Hmm. Well, I guess we're just going to have to check at Lowe's or something. Maybe so. Good job on the crank call, by the way. Oh, uh, a what call? Ah, never mind. Don't worry about it. All right. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um, well, do you have any holy water? No. Uh, we sell, well, we don't even sell water. We have water fountains, and you can get it blessed at a, at a Catholic church. Um, okay. So what do you have there? Anything that could help? No. Okay, not well. Probably not. Okay, well, then just go ahead and hang up the phone then. Thank you. Bitch. 
God, I hate it. He got smug. I want to slap his throat. Sunshine, Sunshine, could you not take the name of the Lord in vain, please? (sighs) Come on. Come on. This is a Christian show. You say that to me when I say your name, so. (laughs) That's true. Yeah, that's true. I know. Well, hey, everyone. Okay. Well, Brown Magic, (laughs) actually, you keep saying the crucifixion now. When I worked at the Christian bookstore, they had... um, Oh, I've like seen a that. miniature crucifixion nails that you would hold in your pocket so you can hold them. And every time you needed hope or inspiration, you could put your hand in your pocket, they said, and just touch the nail that was driven through Christ's Really hand. just like old railroad spikes? And I don't, well, they were for six ninety five. so. Wow. <laughs> they probably just walk along the railroad tracks and pick them up. And yeah, it was amazing, the shit they sold. That was great. Well, I bombed with Kevin. Oh, you didn't bomb. You want to try another one before you go on? I want to hear you do the finger thing one more time. Oh, I really? Oh, really? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's more of an after show type thing, you know? <laughs> no, it's gonna, I'm going to ruin it. Cause, You're not going to ruin it. Cause the, the, I, I can't top the last one. <sighs> it's pretty epic. I'm sorry. It was a perfect call. It was pretty good. Not because I was perfect, just because she was perfect. I'm not trying to, like, you know, say that it was I'm, I'm awesome or anything. Yeah, this Where'd you is, get that idea? Just, this is going to be another <laughs> awkward ending for me today. <laughs> ah, okay, let's just let's just leave. Let's just go. Bell control to lineman Bob. <laughs>